What's up, Thumpers? Welcome to a very special episode of Hyper Heroes here on Hyper Rabbit Power Go. If you saw last year's episode or last year's video that we did, you know what this bullshit's all about again. <laughs> we are recapping the Marvel Cinematic Universe all the way leading into Avengers Endgame. We're in That's the right. Endgame now, baby! That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you so much for supporting. You are getting to see this early before everybody else. Okay. Uh, for those of you who are watching this the day we released it, uh, you can jump over to Patreon, and if you join the $5 tier, the Hyper Homies tier, you can get early access to all kinds of content, including stuff like this. If you like this video, like, comment, spread some love. Let us know you like this sort of stuff. It yeah. takes a lot of effort to put this stuff uh, together. Adam did not sleep last night. <laughs> nope, I didn't. Uh -huh. I've been uh, making these cards for two weeks. Yes, no, you have. like four weeks, four yeah. weeks. <laughs> Hector was here till 3 a.m. cutting yeah. them. 3.30, 3 yeah. 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 Got home 3.30, 3.45, uh, yeah. 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 And so, it was all his idea, so you can blame him. So, yep. you know, if you hate this video, blame Hector. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, like, don't blame Let Hector. us know to not do this stuff. Yeah. But if you do like it, honestly, uh, with, with what we have in front of us, yeah. We could eat. We could do a a twenty minute <coughs> recap of like just Spider Man before Far <laughs> right, From Home. You know right, what I mean? Right, like before right. the uh, the up and coming thing. But this is the Infinity Saga, y'all. This yeah, is so all twenty two movies. So Hector, break down what we have here. So we have this cool little upward view. Yep. Up yes. there. We got a nice Hello. top down. Hi. Uh, top down view. Hi, what's so up, Hector? Hi. Break down what it is we created. What we did is we took every major and kind of minor character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in the Infinity Saga up to this point, and we're going to run through as close as we can the sort of actual timeline of events, just kind of rush through stuff. We're going to leave the kind of major players on the board to then talk about going into Endgame, what we think is going to happen, mm -hmm. and each of these characters have a status. If there's nothing on top of their little card, it means they're just like alive as right, far as right, we right. know. Yeah. Um, and if they have deceased, they're dead. In custody, they're mm -hmm. in custody. Mm -hmm. Unknown, unknown, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Decimated. My favorite, decimated. Yeah. Yep. So that we can keep track of actually, out of all the characters <coughs> in, you know, across three movies, not the, like two two movies, three yeah. movies, yeah. and who actually got dusted. And characters behind the scenes who got dusted. Like, right, right. It was, there's a fun bit about the Rousseau brothers confirming like minor characters mm -hmm. that were dusted, but but people were like, well, they said. Like so Galaga like, guy? Galaga guy. He got Galaga dusted. Out of there. <laughs> Poor Galaga guy. He so, got it. So we're going to get started. We each have in front of us seven movies we're going to go through. Adam's going to start. We're going to talk about the events of Iron Man. Yes. And again, this here, this little MCU timeline, it's not officially confirmed by Marvel Studios, but it's going off of like the wiki online yeah. that yeah. amazing people have put together, and Marvel Studios has not unconfirmed it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like all of this stuff means <laughs> yeah. that none of it um, contradicts with itself. Right, right. So they've done the math, and they've figured out like when the events of certain things happen yeah. so as to yeah. not you know overlap, contradict, all that other mm -hmm. shenanigans. Right. Right. So Adam, kick us off. These characters, as they're organized in these decks, sure, pretty much how the characters were introduced <laughs> oh, in the order oh, in man. the movie. You I, take it by away. By the way, brother. you did this all from memory. Uh, yeah, yeah. but More I've or less. also but I've also been rewatching the yeah, movies, and yeah, I was like right. cross checking my. I'm like, I think we meet. Uh, I can't you know. believe how much work you put in Dude. that spreadsheet. That I love it, man. I won't repeat what it. Hector said to me last night, but he <laughs> loves this stuff. Very excited. Yeah. So we're gonna start with Iron Man. Uh, yes. Iron Man, obviously, being the first movie released back in 2008, May 3rd, 2000, or May 2nd, 2008. Correct. Um, but not only that, but the events of this movie yes. pretty much take place first. We got the kidnapping of Tony Stark, mm -hmm. which is again, as far as we know, Tony Stank. February of 09 mm -hmm. until about May of 2009 mm -hmm. when he gets out of there. Kidnapped by. Uh, Raza. Raza. He gets killed. Mm -hmm. He gets killed. Whose right hand man is Abu Bakar. Yep. Mm -hmm. He, status unknown. Did the villagers kill him? Huh? Nobody know. knows. Nobody know. knows. <laughs> it's all I yours. hope he died. <laughs> and then we're obviously introduced to died. the parentals, Mr. Mm -hmm. Howard, Howard Stark. Stark. Mm -hmm. yep. In a photo, but <laughs> he got killed by one soldier. This, this is great because uh, was introduced, we were introduced to this character, <laughs> though. Not Don Cheadle, yeah, 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 right, uh, Terrence right. Howard, yes. but War James Machine Rose. is War Machine. You know war Machine right? is War Machine. And mm -hmm. obviously, the villain that he takes on in that first movie, Obadiah Stane, Tony. a.k.a. Iron Monger. Tony, my boy. And, Tony, my boy. And the battle I of couldn't the, sleep. The, the, the battle of Gomira when yes. uh, Tony Stark flies back mm -hmm. over there is mm -hmm. happening in November of 2009. Mm -hmm. And then a few days later, in um, November 17th, a few days later, when he fights Iron Monger, that's the Duel of Los Angeles, mm -hmm. November 24th, 09. And then the very next day, November 25th, something real special happens. But keep going. Who else keep we got? Going, There's a going. bunch of other people <laughs> we got in this one movie. one happy Hogan. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with a happy meal. Uh -huh. Played by John Favreau, who obviously also directed the first Iron Man. Christine Everhart, uh -huh. uh, who Pepper yeah. likes to throw a lot of shade at, which is always fun. Uh, debuting as Jarvis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later becoming yeah. Vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
followed by Pepper Potts. Love her. Who is very happy that she doesn't have to look for a job. She hates <laughs> job hunting. <laughs> probably right. probably is, one of is. the best characters in the first Iron Man movie. Yeah. Ho Yinsen, which mm-hmm. we talked okay. about on okay. the latest episode of Hyper Heroes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about what an amazing what if. Yeah. Ho Yinsen became Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Would have been really, really that dope. Would, that would, would be, be really, really That'd cool. That would be dope. Uh, a character who came in and was... Nobody really cared about him, was kind of unappreciated. And is now beloved. And now is completely beloved. Mm-hmm. The son of Cole, mm-hmm. Phil Coulson, agent mm-hmm. of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh-huh. Or the Strategic Homeland Intervention, something, something, something. Espionage, something rather, Logistics yeah. Division. And, yeah. of course, the one and only, the immortal Stan Lee. Yes, he yes. is a uh, he lives Hef- forever cameo, Hugh Hef- Hefner cameo. cameo. And, of course, the one character who is responsible for kicking off or bringing Tony Stark yep. into this greater universe. You got to throw that bad boy up there. With him just not knowing yet. Yeah. Nick Fury. Boom. Agent oh. of S.H.I.E.L.D. What baby. an important movie. Look at this. Yeah, dude. Look at dude, this. this. That's what I'm that's, talking about. That's, that's what I think is the most impressive thing about Iron Man is for myself, not being necessarily the most knowledgeable Marvel fan, mm-hmm. but going into this movie and all of these things being planted and not knowing at the time what they were. Right, right. But then at the end, seeing Samuel Jackson's cameo and thinking and going, well, I, what is this? Right, exactly. And then going home and looking up and being like, oh my God, they based this character, they redesigned this character to look like Samuel Jackson. Yeah. This is who he is. This yeah. is what mm-hmm. this alludes to. Mm-hmm. Right. The Avengers Initiative. What's, what's the Avengers Initiative? Right. You literally just type in Avengers and then I realize, oh, it's... It's the culmination of all these characters coming yep. together to fight yep. one common thread. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and incredible. all the threads that are still continuing, like Howard Stark, very yes. important. Phil Coulson still yes. there. I mean, Vision. Uh, Vision. The Vision being of Jarvis. there from the very yeah. beginning, it's yeah, absolutely, it's it's incredible. Uh, this movie, I still to this day, gives me goosebumps. That first flight yeah. scene. It's great. Where he first in takes Santa, off in the street. Santa Monica. It's yeah. amazing. <sighs> so amazing. Goose pimples, baby. You guys made me real happy. So, Adam. <laughs> He's um, our own happy Hogan. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> remove from the board. Yeah, let's decimate the let's dead Let's start guys. making the, a pile the, of the de- dead. The deceased, which is like, dead. like even though Howard Stark's death is still felt, Ho yes. and still felt, mm-hmm. probably going to be the sort of graveyard area over yeah. here yep we have characters that are still alive we'll say unknown pretty much the same thing yeah, yeah. right decimated we, i want to leave there let's leave that okay right nick fury okay. is still going strong in players after first iron man players still sort of in, in the play. in the mix in play yeah. we know that happy and pepper are yes. in Endgame. Right. Yes. now christine and phil colson probably not gonna be in it but they're you know so they're Secondary. like they're like alive yeah, but absolutely. like like around or whatever, yes. and then I, I want to put a special thing. I want to put a pin in this because I want to talk about this later. Yeah. Okay. Even though dude's deceased, I have thoughts. Yeah. Well, Adam, and I think I think it's very important to to continually to continue to track the evolution of all these characters, yes. Absolutely, yeah. especially a character like Jarvis who became so integral to the Marvel Absolutely. universe. Yeah. Agreed. Literally carrying Agreed. one of the most yeah. important stones. The other character who, who is deceased, but I'm going to put off to the side. Full disclosure later, Gamora. When we get to Guardians, uh, right? Because yeah, yeah, I have yeah, we, yeah. I have thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. it going with Iron Man two. All even right. though Iron Hulk two, came baby. out next, Iron Man. Two was the next movie to sure, take sure, place sure, in sure. the timeline. Uh, a little bit later in. Uh, By the way, this is this co- goes completely against the timeline that the Rousseau brothers have been tweeting out. Oh, because they're, they're they're false. They're wrong. Um, <laughs> they're incorrect. This is why this is so fun. They're incorrect. Because Hector's just like. No. No, they're you're wrong. Like, you know, you're wrong. We got our own time. I know you yeah. created Endgame in Infinity uh-huh. War, but you're yeah. wrong. But you guys are wrong. Uh, yeah. no. uh, okay, <laughs> two, starting two, off. 2010, this is when Iron Man 2 happening. 2010, starting off. Uh, this prologue, though, of this yeah. movie, does this take place prior to the events? Well, remember when when uh, when Tony says, I am Iron Man, mm-hmm. that press conference is like the last the thing that this time, dude right? sees and then yes. dies, and then it goes six Anton months later. Anton Vanko. Anton Vanko. Okay. All the way up in, where were they, in Russia Moscow somewhere? Moscow or something? Moscow. Yeah, I think, yeah. His, uh, his very cute... Son, uh, Whiplash, <laughs> a.k.a. Ivan Vanko. Yep. I want Every, everybody's my favorite. I want my bird. Mm-hmm. Sander Stern, R.I.P. Gary Shandling. True, but he's in, now in custody. In custody. Right. And I right. looked in to see universe. if his character was technically officially listed as deceased, mm-hmm. but still alive and in still custody. Alive. Still alive yeah. yeah. and R.I.P. And, and, and thank you, Gary. Enjoy yeah. that, that life. Uh, an actor who I lo- absolutely love, Sam Rockwell as Justin Hammer. Best part about nice. this movie. Best part about this movie. Also in custody. Ran, ran into him at a bar in Burbank. He was one of the nicest <laughs> guys. The uh, Debut of Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow. Uh-huh. That's what's uh-huh. up. In this photo, a little bit more blonde. Yeah, uh-huh. she was full uh, redhead was at full that point. Full redhead yeah. when we yeah. met her. And uh, something that was added later on into the Marvel <laughs> yeah. Cinematic Universe. <laughs> yeah. The debut of Peter Parker. <laughs> I love it. Although you wouldn't know because he's masked kid. as Iron Man. I right. So that it. is little technically Peter. Peter Parker. They've made it. Yeah. 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 They okay. made it. Okay. But it was John Favreau's son who was the actor yeah, yeah, yeah. in the helmet. So, and that's all you get for Iron Man too. Let's move Peter to decimated. Of course. Uh, and then let's move the, Obviously the, the, the an important deceased part. 
of this of this entire universe over here to the deceased pile custody it's the pile let's, of the let's dead. make this yeah. let's make yeah. this a thing yeah. the custody boys and then i'm going to say natasha romanoff She's one of the one kicking. of the main Key players, players. Yeah. 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 next up dude thor Oh yeah, Thor is an off with Thor. Thor is an interesting one because I had such high hopes for it, mm-hmm. and then it evolved into something that it probably way, shouldn't way, have been. <laughs> way better, but then Taika Waititi yeah. brought it back. <laughs> it was so weird. It like it, it was went, really odd. It like went like this, and then went mm-hmm. way down, and yeah, then like and then came spiked. right back up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we started off with Jane Foster. That's I right. wish we could, in the desert. I, I have thoughts about her. I, uh, I love Natalie Portman. Same. Natalie Portman's great. She's great. They got a great actress. I yeah. just feel like they needed to do something better with this <sighs> character. Agree. We had Eric Selvig. Now, here's a funny thing. Turns Dr. out, Selvig. dude was decimated. I didn't know this. Because the last either. time we yeah. saw him was Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah. Right. But the Rousseau's uh, revealed that he was also Damn. So, we don't have anybody who can compromise the Avengers anymore. Mm. Because he Sorry, Alexander Skarsgård. Your dad's done. <laughs> <Your dad's> <laughs> <laughs> After that, we have Darcy Lewis. Super great funny. role as well. That was really really confirmed to still be alive, huh? Yeah. Surprising. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Still alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other key player, I'm just going to drop Dude. this guy here. Dude. Hey, Mr. My, my Thor. Man. My man. The, the god of thunder himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thor and Odin's then son. and then his father. Yes. The Odin. Mm. Yes. The Odin son. <laughs> the Odin of all fathers. <laughs> Boar son. Yep. Yep. And then we have uh, Laufey. Is That's that how you right. say it? Laufey. 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 Looks like Smaug. <laughs> oh, yes. It is like Smaug. <laughs> That's Loki's dad. Um, and then after that, we have Mr. Loki himself. Hey. Tight, so, tight, uh, tight. Another you, you key player Quinn. that I wish they would have given a little bit more time to. Well, he's going to get uh, a show. Oh, right. this no, key I'm player. This key <laughs> player. Sif, you're not wrong, Lady dude. Sif, right, baby. right. I Lady Sif is very thoughts. important yeah. in Thor's timeline in the comics. Yes. Who yes. also, yes. I did not know, was decimated. Deci- decimated. Absolutely decimated. 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 I feel like I should have gone that way more, but I saw it that way now. Just real quick about Sif, what's really funny is that she wasn't in Ragnarok, right? Right. There's a prelude comic that explains why, because at the time, Loki was disguised as Odin. Yeah. Right. So he banishes her, knowing ah. that she's like a thorn in, oh. in his side. So as she gets banished, she's like banished from Asgard. Mm-hmm. And Forever. then when she's going off on an adventure or whatever, even after that fact, she still gets decimated. Damn. So that's what's happening with she Sif. She got double ah. whammy, bro. Yeah, double whammy. Yeah, dude. Fuck. Some yeah. people can't catch a break. It, it also sucks that when Thor came back to Asgard in Ragnarok, he wasn't like, where's Sif? He just like right? didn't give a shit. He's just <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> I got other stuff to handle. <laughs> oh, I've so, got Led okay. Zeppelin to play. So after the, yeah, I need Love some Rene Led Zeppelin. So now we have Renee Russo's yeah. Frigga. And then we have Mr. Zachary Levi yes. as Frandel. Shazam. Frandel. <laughs> Frandel. No. Frandel. Fan- Fandrel. Fandrel. Fan- Frandel. <laughs> I call him Frandel. Hey. Uh, <laughs> like a Hogan, who had an pool. awesome moment in another movie that yeah. we'll talk about later. Okay. Um, we, then we have Volstagg. So we have the, what are they called? The Warriors 3. The Warriors 3. three. Warriors 3, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, baby. Uh, Dude. Classic Mr. Tell me about it. Heimdall, who Idris. I had, I had really high hopes yeah. of because of the comics. Like the way they drew him in the comics was very obviously going to be difficult to portray it over to mm-hmm. uh, the 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 movie. So mm-hmm. in the comics, if you don't know Adam. Whenever he puts his eyes down and, and like kind of shade covers his eyes, yeah. this whole section turns into the galaxy. So you yeah. can see the stars and everything in, in, in his eyes. They kind of did that a little bit, but mm-hmm. uh, I really liked that it was Idris Elba. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. It's Idris Elba. Well, and it's one of those things, too, where it's like it's Idris Elba. And at the time, I'm like, I didn't really know who Idris Elba was. Right, right. Now, now you know. having Idris Elba, who's grown such an incredible career, you're like, yeah. oh, give me more. More, yeah. more, yeah. more exactly. More yeah. Uh, then we have Jasper Sitwell. Hell Hydra. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And the dead. And then the introduction right. of Mr. Hawkeye himself, That's right. Clint Barton. Clint Barton. So who is potentially running around as Ronin now? That's correct. That's, that's correct. That's the speculation. So, so he's the, the, you know, the secret guy right we, now. We got some decimated, not as important. I think we can put him Desis. in the dead pile. I think we can put these eh, in the dead eh, pile. Well, I just want to keep track of all the okay, decimated. Okay. Here's the other thing I want to do. There's mm-hmm. a couple of dead in here, yeah. namely Sitwell, that's uh-huh. like, okay, you're Forget off the table. Yeah. Then we have these players that are alive, but we can agree, like, probably yeah, not going to factor. In the void yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I want to specifically do this with the Asgardians. Oh, and Laufey? Yeah, dead is dead. Yeah, bye-bye. But yeah. Bye with bye, the Asgardians, I have thoughts on this. Mm-hmm. So I want to put them off to the side over here for a second. Okay. okay. Not in the not in not the whatever in the, pile, Not in the whatever and not in the deceased because mm-hmm. I have thoughts. Except Odin, I'm going to put... In the deceased. He's gone, gone. Ooh. You gone, feel like gone. he's gone, gone. Okay. Thor, major player. Boom. Hawkeye, major, major player. player. And we're yeah, kind baby. of collecting our... We're, and almost next, at, we're almost at all six. Incredible Hulk. All right. This is the Incredible Hulk stack. Not that many characters. <laughs> not, that, not that many characters. I think that's something interesting to point out, too. If you look at Thor, yeah. so far, I think the most casualties... Out of all the franchises. Oh, for sure, because it's the event, or because it's the Asgardians. Yeah, like they're, yeah. They, a lot they, of people, a they lot got of hurt. People died. They yeah. got hurt. I mean, I, all the Asgardians technically. Well, yeah. half yeah. of the Asgardians technically died. Yes. And then the other half got 
taken out by Thanos. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. <laughs> I guess technically the most yeah. the most casualties. Okay. So we have the introduction of uh, Edward Norton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. That, that doesn't look like Edward Norton. Oh, you're so screwed now. <laughs> <laughs> we have Edward Norton. Uh-huh. Uh, and then we have uh, Betty Ross. Yeah. Who happens to be the daughter of... The, is it Thaddeus Ross? Is that how you say Thaddeus. it? Thaddeus. Thaddeus Ross? Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Thaddeus Thunderbolt, mm-hmm. Ross. Thaddeus Thunderbolt General Ross. General Ross, uh, yeah. Who yeah. I'm hoping... This is this this movie to me yeah. is very important because yeah. it goes into my theories for the future. Okay, cool. Uh, mm. And so yes, and you're talking, so you're talking Red Hulk. I'm, is that I'm, what you're I'm talking? talking Red. I'm talking like Red it. Hulk. I'm like talking. It. I'm talking. I mean, we got a little bit of Hulk. Got I'm a talking, little bit of custody action. Yeah, got a, here. so he's still in custody. So mm-hmm. we have the Abomination mm-hmm. who is yeah. technically in custody. Mm-hmm. We have. Um, What's his name? Modern Family. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Leonard a Modern Samson. Family cameo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> crossover. <laughs> yeah, crossover. Confirmed. And then we have this creepy face guy, Leonard, yeah. Samuel Stern. Samuel Stern. Leonard Stern. Yeah. Samuel Stern. Also in custody. So right. we can, and, and I, again, check. They're still alive. These dudes yeah. are still in S.H.I.E.L.D. custody. Uh, decimated Betty Ross. That sucks. Another one that's like. I can't. I was a little. And, you know. I, happens to be decimated. Yeah, and there's been a lot of conversations of, like, Betty Ross. Is she going to ever play an integral part to the Marvel Cinematic Universe right. to Mark Ruffalo's Hulk? Right. I would like that to be the case. Yeah. I would like to see Betty Ross come back. I would like to see Liv Tyler come back into the universe. We don't know, obviously, what the status is of, of Bruce Banner will be after right. fixing the decimation right. or reversing the effects of the, dec- of the decimation. Right. Um, to one character that I definitely hope we do get to see is Abomination. Oh, absolutely! I want to yeah. see. We'll talk Tim about Roth this afterwards. afterwards. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because I want to go into speculation yeah. hardcore. Okay. Again. Here we go, oh, Captain this America. This is my boy. This is my boy. The right first here. Avenger. Now, full disclosure: most of these characters have died from old age. But let's get into it. <laughs> Steve Rogers. Uh-huh. He's there. Uh-huh. We you're got just going to automatically put him in that pile. Put him in the pile. Okay. He's there, Winter baby. Soldier, Bucky Barnes, yeah. decimated. Then we have. Stanley Tucci, Abraham mm-hmm. Erskine, mm-hmm. who helped a with the man. a good man, right? All of these characters are sort of died from old age. Yeah. The Hydra guy, Arnim Zola, the computer, right? We have everyone's mm-hmm. favorite, Peggy Carter. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. Peggy. She lived a long life. Love she's that getting character. A show. Uh, she had the a show, the but what she's if? getting the animated. She's getting yeah. the what is right? Yeah. Haley Atwell. I'm so excited about that. Chester Phillips, Michael Duffy, the the guy at Camp Lehigh. The uh, mm-hmm. ain't nobody ever caught <laughs> that flag in seventy Which, years. By the way, I'd like to point out, I yeah. love the fact that it's unknown. I'm like, yeah. he's old. Could be dead. <laughs> he's so we'll, old. We'll just, I mean, we'll, we kind of know. We'll, we'll put him in the unknown okay. pile. Uh, <laughs> he's the unknown. Who knows? Yeah. Um, and here's another one. According Again, according to the wiki, alive, Brandt. but super old. Senator, yeah. Former Senator Brandt. Yep. Uh, we That's have Heinz possible. Kruger, who was played by the actor that played Thorne Oakenshield. Richard Oakenshield Armitage. Mm-hmm. In, in, uh, mm-hmm. in The Hobbits. Mm-hmm. Uh, dead. He's killed. Uh, also, status unknown, Dum Dum Dugan. Then we have some classic Howling Commandos, Gabe Jones, mm-hmm. James Montgomery Fallsworth, Jim Morita, and Jacques Denier. Those classic guys. They all passed away from an old age. Bloop, yeah. right. bloop, bloop, bloop. Going to grab them, take them to the deceased pile. Honorable mentions for them, though. They yeah. were fantastic. Yeah. Right? Peggy, right there. Oh, Peggy. Probably I think she needs her own special place in I the know. deceased pile. Okay. Here's, and, okay. And, and, I, and I agree next with to, you. Next to Odin. Next to Odin. And yeah. I think, we can talk about it later, but I think they're could possibly be a reason for that character to return. Re- okay, what? in in Endgame. Possibly. Tell me about it. Are you oh. are, are you talking time let's, travel shenanigans? Let's, What's up? Let's get to that at the when we yes. start What's speculating. After, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, and I completely forgot. Red Skull Johann Schmidt. Oh, you who can't turns out that, he's alive. Yeah. Something to do with the Soul Stone realm. Yeah. He's introduced at the beginning of First Avenger. Yeah. But what do you think is going to happen with Peggy? You think Steve is going to be riding I, off into the sunset? I really. I, I have nothing to back to, like to base this off of. Yeah. Yeah. off of. I really do think there will be an opportunity for Steve Rogers to somehow, some way, go back in time. Will he stay back there? Okay. I don't know. Okay. But I think there will be a moment where we Alternate will see that character something? reunite with Peggy in some form of fashion. Oh, my God. If it doesn't happen, Fuck. I won't be upset. But if sure. it does happen, I will cry like a baby in yep. the theater. Yeah. Because I yeah. love Peggy. I think we all will. Uh, at least a moment, man. Something to do with time travel shenanigans would be great. Another yeah. kiss for them to hook up. I don't know something. <laughs> oh, for sure, something. bro. Uh, Adam, these all culminated in the yes. Avengers. Now, at this bro. point, the reason we put Hulk after Thor was because the last scene in Hulk was Tony Stark mm-hmm. approaching General Ross about putting a team together. Yes. Right. We learned later that he was there to recruit Emil Blonsky, the Abomination. Mm-hmm. That happened around July fifth of twenty ten, which was like. About a month or so after the events of Iron Man 2, Thor, and The Incredible Hulk. Mm-hmm. That was Fury's big week. Mm-hmm. So then we have The Incredible Hulk. Then Captain America, the first Avenger. Mostly a flashback to 1942, 1943 to 1945. 
And then in uh, in in 2011, Steve Rogers' body is found. Yes. Right. In in right. October of 2011, somewhere around there. Cut to May 2nd, May 1st, May 2nd of 2012, The Avengers. Some assembly required. Uh, <laughs> this was like going into this was such an event, such a spectacle. Yeah. I was so excited. As someone who like learned so much about who these characters were through all their individual movies, right. all the supporting characters, and then leading into this first team up right. movie was epic. And as like comic book fans Dude. Was and huge. also VFX artists at the time. Yeah. And we worked on we worked You got your on name in the credits, <laughs> We worked Dude. on these movies. Uh, I saw Avengers out, yeah. a month before it came out. Yeah. I did a little sneaky peeky, and yeah. I watched it, and I yeah. didn't like it. I was like, yeah. this Ooh. looks like a TV movie. Ooh. I hate it. Yeah. The visual effects were not done, but I was like, nothing about this looks good. Yeah. I went to the theater, and I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <just> introduced <laughs> in yeah. The Avengers, The Other. Yes. Uh-huh. We can say, we can call that Thanos's To, to court them. Is right to, hand man. To challenge them is to court death. To court death. Uh, probably one of the funnest characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Who we find out it does become decimated. We saw Maria it. Hill. At yeah, we saw Infinity that one. War. We saw yeah. that one. Yeah. Georgie Luchkov. I do not who, give who, everything. <laughs> who Black Widow. <laughs> a real how you, beating. How do you Kicks know a ass. line from everybody? Give him a real <laughs> beating, which was really, really yeah. good. Did uh, the research. Of course. Uh, Galaga guy. R.I.P. Galaga guy. Yeah. Poor guy. That guy's playing Galaga. He just wanted He's playing. He's playing. He's playing Galaga. With the stars right now. <laughs> with God. With God. <laughs> with Abraham Lincoln. With, which, like, with little moments Galicas. like that, little moments like that made me like that movie so much more. Yeah. It's just like yeah. these little yeah. fun little because, moments. Because that was an improv from Robert Downey, yeah. and then they went and put it in the movie. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. that's what's so There was fun. nobody exactly. playing Galaga, but no. he said, hey, there's a guy playing Galaga So over it's here. like, oh, let's go put that in. Yeah. And Joss Wing was like, And All of right. course... Probably the biggest, most impactful moment. And this, this, this is a special card. This, this is, is the foil. Card, this baby. is the hologram. This card. is the hologram. This is this the, is the collector's edition. This oh. is, yeah, this is the high end. The one. introduction, the introduction of this character, which for me, again, mm-hmm. not knowing the Marvel mm-hmm. Cinematic Marvel Universe that well, mm-hmm. I raised an eyebrow and I thought, okay, I need to look this up. Mm-hmm. But then the reactions, yeah, leading mm-hmm. into the revelation of. Thanos. I think he needs a spot up at the very top. I agree. He We're needs gonna put to be him right like, here. He needs yeah. to be he up there. right here. He yeah. needs to be next to the A. So we got decimated Maria Hill, mm-hmm. deceased See, he other has the infinity yeah. stones here, and it, it's rainbow I love it. and all the stones, it's good. baby. It's good. Uh, Georgie is alive, but nobody but gives a cares? shit. <laughs> and Galaga guy is also decimated. <laughs> yeah. And this is this is a pile of <laughs> we don't really care. This decimated. Is a pile, exactly. literally a pile of ash. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. But these are the. The, this the, is the ones we yeah. care about. Those are the ones decimated. that we know for sure are going to yes. be returning. Adam, keep right. it going with Iron Man okay. 3, my friend. Uh, also, I think is it, I think it might be worth mentioning at this point, what stones have been revealed? So at this point, <coughs> we had the Tesseract. Yes. Mm-hmm. We also had the Scepter, which we learned later is the Mind Stone. Yes. The right. Tesseract is the Space Stone. Right. And I think up to this point, that's it. I think that was it, yeah. That's it. We and a bunch of these movies. very light on stones even at that though, point. Yeah, even though this is the Infinity Saga, a bunch of these movies actually don't even have any mention of an Infinity Stone. No, right. Um, and I think the next one It really is became a player mostly in Phase 2. Yes. 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 Yeah. So really started hitting when, that. when we get to Thor The Dark World, yeah. it deals with the ether. The ether. But that's Iron the third Man 3, one that we find, yeah. Iron Man 3 takes place from... Like December, a little bit before Christmas, to to um. It's a Shane Black movie, y'all. Come on. To to like to January sixth, apparently, is when Tony Stark is telling Bruce mm-hmm. Banner the events of, mm-hmm. of Iron Man three. Um, and it's all happening in uh like yeah the, six months after the Avengers, which was in mm-hmm. summer of twenty twelve. Yeah. So this is the end of twenty twelve, and then also the kidnapping of Trevor Slattery happens December of twenty thirteen, like a year all after right. he's in jail. Okay. Well, he's already kind of been there. All so right, all right. when he gets kidnapped by an agent of the Mandarin, that's so right, who do we right. got? So Iron first Man 3. character up, we got Maya Hansen, Rebecca yeah. Hall, who I am a really big fan of her work. Great, really great happy actor. to see her in this movie mm-hmm. alongside Aldrich Killian, played by Guy Pierce. Love Guy Pierce. Uh, very fun revelations with this character as well. Yeah. And I think the revelation of revelations. The Mandarin, also known as Trevor Slattery, yeah. played by Sir Ben Kingsley. It's who has who has the best? Uh, what's it called? Uh, the like the short plot twist. Oh what? Oh the oh, one shot. One King. shot. Yeah, yeah, the one shot. Oh, he has King. the yeah. best. Yeah. Agreed. The best one shot. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. The president. Yeah. Matthew Ellis. Okay. Sure. Who was? Uh, I, it's it's always fun when these when these cinematic universes, these fake universes, mm-hmm. play with who's the president. You know, yeah. where do they yeah, where do they pull insp- inspiration from? The name from mm-hmm. uh, Eric Savin, super dead, super dead, mm-hmm. super punctured with a uh, Iron Man Ray. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ellen Brandt, mm-hmm. also super barbecue and extra crispy, S- super especially dead. in that picture. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And then young Harley Keener. Yeah, who might come back? Who might, dude. 
Okay. Potential of becoming an Avenger. <laughs> Rumors. Scale of one to ten. Rumors. So Rumors. Might all be speculation. Down here. We have some deceased. Let's get rid of these knuckleheads. And also Maya Hansen, who's oh, great. My. And Aldrich Killian in the deceased pile. Unknown. Little Trevor Slattery action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Matthew Ellis, again, not really going to factor Nobody in. Nobody cares about the president. They have not mentioned whether or not he's still president through these events, right? I don't Because th- he would technically, technically be on a second term at this point. Ooh, if he was. Guys, is this going to be the new Avengers pile? I mean, maybe. I, Who else are you going to add to that? Cassie oh, Lang? We, I mean, we Ant-Man's might. Daughter? We might. Bro. This is going to be let's, let's, the possible okay. new I, Iron Avengers. Lad right over there. <laughs> Iron <laughs> Lad? You mean Iron Heart? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> it better not be um, him if it is. This is a speculation pile I like that. of new Avengers. I like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Augustine, keep it going. Thor the Dark World. Not that many new characters. <sighs> not that many new characters. In my opinion, the lowest point at the MCU at this point. Agreed. Uh, I would agree. I still can't, to this day. I can't stand watching this movie. <laughs> it's through Th- there's, at all. There's like little moments of like, oh, that's good. Yeah. I can't find those moments. Hey, man. <laughs> the, f- the fight at the end, the fight at the end when they're zipping through portals, there's a couple was of dope. Fun things, yeah. But you have yeah. to sit through a lot yeah. of boring just, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, this, so this is why I talked about Thor the yes. first time. It's just, it just, Thor came in, you know, okay, yeah. a lot of hype because it's Thor. Some people liked it. And then they went super high fantasy and it yeah. didn't didn't really hurt. So Too to start it off, we had Malekith. Who? 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 Who's that Who? guy? Who cares? Who cares? Deceased. No, I mean, great actor. Uh, I love Chris hunting, Wilkerson. hunting for yes. the ether. Yes, right. Yes. And he was using curse. Curse mm-hmm. was actually a really cool, a really mm-hmm. cool villain. Mm-hmm. Uh, super powerful. Mm-hmm. Uh, Boar, Al Grimm the Strong. Yeah, who Boar is uh, in Thor's the, grandpa. That's right. In the right, flashback. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, w- uh, Reed Straczynski's uh, run yes. on Thor, where Boar comes out. Boar is a fucking beast, dude. And, and Thor, Thor is incredible. Every Thor, like, Thor's yeah. afraid of him. Odin's I'm, afraid I'm into of that. Yeah. It's crazy, that. dude. It's really good. Yeah, and uh, we have our boy Ian Boothby, who I thought was <laughs> 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 he's my boy. College boy, so important, <laughs> so important. <laughs> Tier one player has entered Wait, the were game. Were these characters in there too? Characters? At the end yeah, credits, baby. yeah. Oh, end credits. So credits. what happens? We have yeah. Sif. We have yeah. Volstag yes. delivering the. I don't ether. think I've ever stayed for the end credits of this. One. <laughs> and it's and this was actually shot by James Gunn. This was actually shot by James oh, Gunn. Interesting. It's a little tease, okay. a little tease for okay, Guardians. So, they go okay, to so a shock to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Karina. Mm-hmm. Her name is Karina because that's you. how he says it. Thank right. you. Uh, and we have Collector. First uh, Mexican in this movie. And she's pink. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And Karina. She's, yeah, Karina. And then and Collector. And now, co- Collector. Benicio. Want to point out for Collector, we know Karina dies in yes. Guardians. She's she committed grabs suicide. the thing. Yeah. Dunsky so yeah. she's done, ski done, as well as. Malekith gets killed, uh-huh. curse, uh-huh. bore in you know thousands of years ago, so they're <laughs> in the deceased pile. Right, Ian Boothby My not boy. gonna not gonna factor in, oh, but the fine. collector, um, I don't know, he might come back. He's a cosmic player, and I want to point out, even though Thanos did take the uh, the stone from him, yeah. the the ether, we don't know in Infinity War, according to um, Benicio, he said he got away. He said he's alive. I think people. I think people. <laughs> I think people like the collector and the grandmaster. Oh, are, sneaky! Are sneaky, and they are he, going to continue. He would have seen. Way. He would have seen Thanos coming. Oh, guys, absolutely. He would have seen guys, Thanos absolutely. coming. So, if they do not make a Disney Plus original series of the Grandmaster and the Collector, <laughs> just playing chess, I'm canceling <laughs> just, my subscription. I want to see the Grandmaster's birthday. Oh my God! It's my yeah. birthday. Yeah. So it's good. It's a ship for orgies. Yeah, exactly. So good. Be great. So we're gonna keep it going. That all yeah. happened in the year 2013, right? When the movie was released. Yeah. Um, and then we have an or sort of early 2014, and like January is Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Guys, this is the one that is in my top three. It's a highlight. It went from right. you know. Amazing. Poof, so we get some great new characters introduced. Falcon, Sam Cut Wilson. Cut the check. Cut the check. He's decimated. <laughs> but still a big player. Someone cut the check already. Crossbones. Right. Brock Rumlow. He gets yeah. killed in right. Civil War, but right. badass character. Georges Batrock. Mm-hmm. Batrock mm-hmm. the Leaper. He's in custody, but fantastic character. Dude, it's Alexander Robert Pierce. fucking Redford. On, like, yeah. He gets killed. Hell Hydra. Did a Rousseau fantastic job. So Brothers took that to the 10th. Yep. Yep. Agent 13, a.k.a. Sharon mm-hmm. Carter. I think she's with the CIA now, not S.H.I.E.L.D., because mm-hmm. it's no longer right, a thing. Right. But Sharon Carter's still alive. Mm-hmm. S.H.I.E.L.D. decimated. And they, and they kissed in Civil War. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we have, in the in the sort of post credit scene, but Wolfgang von Strucker, Baron mm-hmm. Strucker, who gets killed in um, Age of Ultron. Dr. List also gets killed in Age of Ultron, his little his little right-hand man crony. And then, boom, boom, some major players. Yep. Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff, decimated. Love Hi. her. Loved her, and I think she's getting better with each movie. Yep. Quicksilver Pietro Maximoff gets killed in Age of Ultron. Mm-hmm. You didn't see that coming. He's saving Hawkeye. People, I feel like um, 
we're this is a performance and a character that is underappreciated. Absolutely, I like agree. just yeah. the one movie. Like totally. me, me having rewatched so Avengers: good. Age of Ultron in the yeah. past couple weeks, I was like, God, he really is great. Yeah. I'm not mad yeah. that he died because I was like, it needed to happen in that movie. Mm -hmm. But there is a part of me that's like, would have been cool to see Quicksilver. Totally, yeah, you know, yeah, but, exactly. uh, but like, DJ, baby, yeah. yes, yeah. Taylor Johnson. Yeah. So great. deceased, deceased, deceased. I don't think these players are coming yeah. back. We're going to move them to the graveyard. Sharon Carter, I mean, she's still in play. Still I don't want to put her in the I don't care pile. Exactly. Because no, yeah. it's, you know, she's yeah. very important to Steve's life. Yep. And then George's Batrock, I love that he's in custody. He's hanging out with the abomination. I love that he's in custody. I will also yeah. say, on a personal note, yeah. The Winter Soldier was my favorite movie to work on. I, I yeah. Very cool. Yeah, that movie was a lot of fun to work very on. Cool. Watching it, uh, when we were working on it, I was like, this movie is going to be amazing. Yeah. The first Rousseau movie, right off the bat. The first Rousseau yeah. Brothers. Rousseaus. The, the first yeah. taste Showed of what was to come in the future. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So I feel universe. like we're gonna have to clear out the board completely to get this oh next God. movie out because we can. We, we have can, so many characters here. We can move things. We yeah. can move things. We Let's can make certainly some space because want to make some space. This movie is hefty with characters. That um, when I went to Comic Con and uh -huh. I was sitting in the panel for Hall H in 2012, and they announced this movie that you're about to drop yeah. drop on us. Yeah, I thought, ooh. This this might be the one movie that Marvel does not <laughs> nail, uh -huh. and this could be uh -huh. this because this is where they could start slipping. And now yeah. they're really trying to go out there, and this might be too weird for people. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you know, some yeah. someone came in with it. Someone came in uh, and uh, crushed our, it. our boy James Gunn came yeah. in and showed the world My that we man. could fall in love with a raccoon right. and a tree. And I mean, how can you not fall in love with Peter Quill? Yeah. My man. Who, uh, you know, he's fantastic. Decimato, but De decimated. Decimated Star Lord um, Peter Quill. Gets a lot of shit. Gets a lot of shit uh -huh. because he, you know, he did uh -huh. do some yeah. stuff that he probably shouldn't have. Uh, his mom, which is a big driving force for him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Korath the Pursuer, who uh, we got some cool backstory information yeah. on later on. A little bit. Uh, B. Reet, who happens to be a hookup of mm -hmm. Peter Quill. Mm -hmm. Right, it was yeah. just a hookup. Or she just wasn't anything Peter. else, right? Nasty Peter I didn't notice this too, but he, when when he goes to the planet with the broker uh -huh. to try and get some money for the orb, he like like her, him and Barit are kind of saying goodbye uh -huh. amicably, and then they part. Like that's what is happening on the bridge when oh. Rocket sees yeah. Star Lord. Oh, he's yeah. saying bye to her. It, he's saying bye to her, he's and like, it's and she's not like mad, me. even though it was a hookup. It's like okay, well, bye, see you later. Like yeah. they're still like don't call me sucker. Amicable. Terms, uh, we oh. have Mister Yandu who becomes a very important player. Mary Poppins uh, himself. Craglin, mm -hmm. who ends up being uh, another beloved character, yeah. another fan favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some more information later on on this character, but That's Ronan right. the Accuser makes mm -hmm. his appearance with a power stone. Super dead. Super dead now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, another key player who we didn't feel like was going to be a key player when she was introduced is Nebula. I, dude, I love Nebula. I love Nebula. Yeah. The arc of that wow. character. Wow. We'll, we'll talk about it more, but like... That was so impressive to me. Karen Gillan coming yes. in and being character. I was like, I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. And then by yeah. this, by Endgame, I'm going in being like, yes. What is Nebula gonna do? Redeem yes. yourself, yes. girl. Uh, and th I have a feeling there's they're building a lot of tension with her, uh -huh. and sh nothing has I paid off for her yet. I think she's gonna die. I think, I so think too. she's gonna I die. I think she'll but get her, I think it's revenge going to be on an Thanos. Epic death. Yes, it, but I it think is going to be. An I think epic this death. is gonna be her last Marvel yeah, movie. I, oh, I, I, absolutely. I mm -hmm. think so too. Uh, uh, we have her sister Gamora, uh, who is another major key player. Little one, uh, Mr. Zoe. Rocket Raccoon, who oh, so made us all fall in love with. So uh, with he's not a raccoon. He's yeah. he's something else. Ain't he's, no thing, ain't like, no thing me. like me. Set me. me. Set me. Uh, we have Mr. Vin Diesel himself, John Groot. Big Groot. John Groot. John, John Groot. <laughs> John Groot. Jonathan Groot. <laughs> Jonathan uh -huh. Groot. Uh, people don't know that's official. his first name. <laughs> it's a Read a comic book. <laughs> that, that's his Read name. a comic book. <laughs> Jonathan John Groot. Jonathan Groot. Jonathan Groot. Not be confused it's with Jonathan Groot. Jonathan Groot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. and so then we have the broker. That's right. We don't really care anything about the broker at this point. Still alive. Very underserved character. Bring him back. What's his name? Roman? Roman Day. Roman Day. Roman Day. Roman Day. Bring him back. Could be potentially uh, just this character's role, not yes. necessarily yeah. this character. Nova Prime. Yes. Um, uh, what's her name? Irani? Yes. Irani Ra Rael? Irani Rael, I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Nova Prime. Mm -hmm. I mean, we haven't gone into the Nova Core yet mm -hmm. and in any in any form. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Garth and Saul. Mm, he's the tick now. The yeah. On Amazon's oh, tick. He also the, voiced the the Darth tick? Maul in episode yes. one. Right, yes, right, right. Uh, another... Uh, Smash came out of nowhere. Dude, like, was an amazing character. Batista. Batista. Mr. Batista. Drax the Destroyer. Yes. Who has uh, completely turned into an actor. 
Yeah, he's right, awesome. Right, right, right. And, and uh, 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 an, a loud advocate for Mr. Yes. James Gunn. Yep. Uh, we have fan favorite Cosmo, the cool. astronaut Come dog. On, uh, Hector's favorite, and I hate him for it, Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, Voiced by Seth Green, I Seth think. Green, right? that's yeah. Seth right. Green, that's right. Is this one supposed to be in here, or is it supposed to be the other one? Yeah, because we see the, the sapling okay. in this movie first. It that's will baby. Right, but okay. it will we'll grow to well, Teen Group. You know? Okay, that's, okay. Yeah. so I'm going to put him right here okay. uh, because we have – the incarnation of okay. Groot. Okay. Uh, teen Groot. So who, what do we? We got a couple of things happening. Yeah, yeah, Huge. Yeah. Decimated. Huge. Decimated. Damn it. Okay. Let's get rid of the deceased and not coming mm-hmm. back for sure. Meredith Quill. No. Nope. Yes. Korath. You guys tell me if you disagree with any of these, right? No. Garth Agree. and Saul. Uh-huh. Yondu. Agree. Love he's him. Gone. Ronan. Yeah. Agree. And then adult Groot. Yeah, we know he's not coming back, gone. so they're over here. Players that are not going to factor in. Barit. Yep. Broker. Cosmo, Howard. Howard the Duck. For 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 now, I want to see Roman come back for Guardians Three, I but do I don't. Too. Think I want to see Craglin will be back. I go- would be very surprised uh, if he was not back. Do you think it'll be, be Endgame, or do you think it'll be? No. Char- these are going to be supporting characters, but I don't okay. think they factor into yeah, the main story. Okay, I okay. That. Rocket Same thing with, is uh, here. Nova yeah. Prime, Nova Prime yeah, supporting Nova yeah. go. won't factor. Yeah. Rocket is here. Nebula is here. They're Avengers, guys. Gamora. I'm gonna put this. Mora, please. Right over here. Because I have a theory. There are thoughts. That even though she got killed by Thanos, because it was in the soul realm, everybody's mm-hmm. been talking about this. Mm-hmm. I think that James Gunn's script for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 mm-hmm. is going to be, fingers crossed, these Guardians. characters come back to life. Gonna Star-Lord's going to be like, her. yeah, like, no, I love her, though. Let's right, go get right, her. Right, right. Go to the soul yes. realm. Yep. Get yes. Gamora. Get so I don't Gamora think out. it's, it's going to be the With last With the help of Doctor her. Strange and Doctor Doom. Here's the thing. Oh. Damn. Just like Dang. how when they got Doom's mother out of hell. <laughs> exactly. You mother- That's what I'm Ooh. saying. Gamora, Gamora such an integral, she becomes Ooh. such an integral part yeah. to where this cinematic universe goes. Yeah. The sacrifice, well, it's not even a sacrifice. You know, she is sacrificed, but she doesn't make that. Right, it's right, It's done right. against her own yes, will. It's done against yes. her will. To see the redemption of that character and, like, what could happen. Well, you, so can you imagine the shock that she must have felt when, like, she sees Thanos crying. She's like, bullshit. I like, know. you don't love Those me. Like, you don't care. And then she's flying off that cliff, yeah. and she's like, fuck, what is going on? Yeah. And sh- it's a confusion yeah. until the end. So you know? sad. It's so and sad for you, her. And we were talking about Nebula for a second, right, Karen Gillan? Mm-hmm. Honestly, my favorite guardian of the galaxy is Gamora. Gamora. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. lo- I love what Zoe Saldana's done. Right. Yeah. She's an incredible actor, right. and it is a role that, again, even coming from the comics, like I never really loved the character of Gamora, the, yeah. g- the, the deadliest woman in the galaxy. Right. But what they've done with her in the films, her relationship with Nebula mm-hmm. in so part good. two, I was like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, yeah. just yeah. comes out of nowhere and, and, and hits me in the gut. I love this character, and I really, really, like I'm rooting for uh, really both of them, but I love, yeah. what, I love what they've done with both. And, yeah. and because of Nebula's larger role in Endgame, that's mm-hmm. why I'm thinking... I think this is going to be her last mm-hmm. Marvel movie, mm-hmm. but Guardians 3 is going to be like, welcome back, Zoe. Right, right, right. You know, come back Let's to the table. Shit. Adam, Agreed. keep it going with Avengers cool, Age cool, cool, of cool. Ultron. Uh, not, a, not, a, not a highlight for me in this series either, uh, coming off of the give first it, Avengers. But give it a rewatch. I, I have. There's stuff going There's on there. The, There's well, stuff okay. going on there. I think what it does yeah. is I think it, I think it plants a lot of really good seeds. I yeah. think overall as a movie itself isn't doesn't work as well for me but okay. i think the seeds that it plants are very important it, it does feel transitional yeah. it does you know and and joss whedon knew to introduce pivotal characters so right, right, let's right. hear it. It, it you know quicksilver scarlet dr Wishnever. helen cho uh-huh hope she comes back because mother of amadeus cho that's right amadeus, and right. i want to see amadeus Which in the like hulk movie new hulk that could lead to something yes we yep. could be putting amadeus over there mm-hmm. totally awesome point. hulk right mm-hmm. uh yeah. ultron i love this character i love this character which was a very really, like fun take on mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Tony Stark wanting to protect humanity and right, then right, experiment right. gone bad. And also, a fun take on universe. Ultron because yeah. sure. Ultron was different. not like that in the comics. Yeah, different. Yeah. Uh, Ulysses Claw, ah. Andy Serkis, love Dang. this character. Got a mixtape. Makes a really fun debut in Avengers Age of Ultron, but Black Panther. Fall in love with that he character really in Black mixes Panther. it up in Black yep. Panther. He's so yeah. damn good. Gets yeah. killed so damn by good. Killmonger. That's we'll right. get to that. That's we'll right. get to that. And of course, Laura Barton. Ooh, no, ooh. The okay. wife. Even though <laughs> we don't have this confirmed, we yeah. all pretty much know we yeah. feel like she's also decimated. We like. I'm pretty sure. I'm so pretty that's sure. That's a questionable what if, decimation. Yes. Decimation. What if it's only the kids who get decimated? I mean, just as that's bad. Rude. You know, it's just as I, bad. I'm also thinking Ultron and, and Claw are not going to come nah, back yet. Not yet. Ultron always comes back. I know. Ultron which which, which is that's, never gone. That's what I, one thing I love about the character. Yeah. And Claw could come back. As a being made of sound. If Arnim yes. Zola can come back as a computer, computer. I'm thinking Clock could come back. Yes. But comics. <laughs> but comics. if if she w- if Laura were alive, mm-hmm. would Barton would Clint? 
be dressing as Ronan and using a sword. Do you know what I mean? It would be him and his wife. Yeah. I think if I really if, think if she if got dusted. I think if it's if it, the kids got decimated, yeah, Laura would be like. Go get that mother. Ma- yeah, you you're not go wrong. Get that mother. Yeah. You're not yeah. wrong. True. So Damn. you know, but yeah. Linda Cardellini, great. So good. Like, yeah. I really yeah. like the farm scene yeah, in yeah. Age of Ultron. Yeah. So uh, definitely like a supporting character. My in this favorite thing. role of hers was in Grandma's Boy. Oh where yeah, she plays the boss. Yeah, she's oh, great. Yeah, yeah. She's great. Yeah. I I mean, I just like Velma because I like Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah. She's almost good too. So that's taking place in like April and May of 2015. A couple months later, in August, July and August of 2015, so we're the events of Ant Man. So 2008. So we're yeah. like seven years into the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point. Yes, we're if going it's going in. from 08 going to 15. Yeah, that's right. right. We're yeah. introducing a flashback to Mr. Hank Pym, who we learn gets decimated. Also, we're gonna I have to start. We're gonna have to start piling these dudes up. Dude. I told oh, this you, this is crazy. Yeah, this right, is, this is crazy. Right. Too big, and then we'll lay too them out big. once we're done. We can also move these over if we yeah. need to. Yeah. Well, we're to g- we're about edge. to cut off on our edge, but there we go. Hank Pym decimated. We're introduced to this asshole, Mitchell Carson. Whatever, nobody cares. Yeah. Ant Man Scott punched. Lang in the quantum realm, so yeah. he's still in play. Yep. Luis, as far my as dude. we know, still in the quantum realm. Thank yep. you. Uh-huh. Thank you. As far as far Luis. as we know, Luis alive. Yeah. Luis Wasp, alive, yeah. Hope Van Dyne decided. Unfortunately, that girl yeah. back. Yeah. Love me some Evangeline Lilly. Yellow Jacket, Darren Cross. Now, he did kind of die, but honestly, status unknown. Right, because we it haven't was confirmed. Quantum Realm yeah. stuff, dude. So could we're going to be hiding in there. We'll be putting him in the unknown category. He could be hiding in there. We've got Dave, we've got Kurt, he's, and Luis. These guys are the best. As far as we know, all of them still alive. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about new Young Avengers? Yeah, Possible let's go. New let's young go. Avengers. Lang. Ooh. And there's some other great supporting characters, Jim Paxton and Maggie Lang. They're fantastic. They're great. And then in a picture, and then we get introduced to her really in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Janet Van Dyne, Michelle Mm -hmm. Pfeiffer, decimated. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the saddest casualty of them all. Of all of them. We're going to keep him on the board the whole time. Oh, Anthony. Yeah. Anthony. Anthony. He holds Yo. a special place in our hearts. If Anthony right has a comeback. Right next to Thanos. If Anthony wow. has a comeback in Endgame, <laughs> wow. let's go. I mean, let's riot. These let's riot dudes, I don't know if these dudes are going to be in uh, Endgame. We'll put well, Luis here, on top of this here's pile. Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the only he's the thing most that I want. One. What do you want? I want Luis. Luis okay, at give me, the beginning give me Luis. of Put him next to Stan at some point, <laughs> or as an end credits thing. I don't care what it is. Yeah, yeah. I want Luis to recap. I want him to do this shit. Yeah. in thirty well, we're, seconds. What we're doing in thirty, <laughs> in 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Basically. Okay. So like. Oh my god. Go. Okay. So check it out. Okay. That's what I want. Yeah. That <laughs> okay. would be. I, I, everybody wants that. Yes. Luis is great. I'm just. I just can't wait to get my Luis action figure, dude. Later this year. That's yeah. gonna happen. Look, I'm just excited. make a Marvel one shot. Just give me something. Yeah. I yeah. need that Actually, recap. Yeah. Put make it on Disney Plus. Make it a short, but literally five minute recap. Marvel one shot. Yeah. Recap. By Luis. Before then, the movie, like a Marvel Pixar oh short. Exactly. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be amazing. Yeah. Marvel, we're giving you these ideas for free. <laughs> take them, take them. Ta- you, you took got WandaVision. The, you, got, you got three weeks. You took Falcon Winter Soldier <laughs> idea. Right. You took What If to take it. Uh, next up, uh, 2016, May of 2016, May and June, July, uh, the events of Captain America Civil War. This is a biggie. <gasps> this A lot of players here. It's Tony versus Steve. A lot of things happening. We're introduced to Miriam Sharp at the beginning of the film. Her son was lost in Sokovia. Then we're introduced into Helmut Zemo, who's now in custody. His family also died in Sokovia. Again, a lot of seed planting yeah, happening in Age of yeah. Ultron. Then, oh, some great characters yeah, introduced. Baby. T'Chaka and to his son, Prince T'Challa, who becomes King T'Challa mm-hmm. because we lose T'Chaka. He is killed by a terrorist attack mm-hmm. from Helmet Zemo, who's framed on Bucky, Winter Soldier. Then we're also introduced Ever K. Ross solely for the fact that they knew that they were going to use his character in Black Panther, yeah. right, which right, is right. great, which great is great. And Civil War. we're officially introduced to Tom Holland, Peter Parker, who's decimated, but my girl, May Parker, yeah. Parker. love May Parker, Where's love this version of the May? character. Love Marissa Tomei. So yeah. these are the sort of new major players. And again, Miriam Sharp, probably not going to factor into no. the film. Definitely Helmet not. Helmet Zemo in custody. That's awesome. Who knows? We have decimated T'Challa. That's a biggie. Whew. We have deceased T'Chaka on the ancestral plane, yes. but not going to factor in, okay. which is cool. And then Everett Ross, a supporting player, and Mae Parker, supporting player. Mm-hmm. So the Rousseau brothers did not confirm nor deny decimated. I have a. Th- I think I she's still think up. She's she's Decimated. You think she's decimated? I think so. I think so. Oh, only how because sad. only because I know we only, we've only seen a trailer from Spider Man Far From Home. Right. And we and we don't know what how that movie's gonna open, but can you imagine 
all of this time, if Peter Parker got dusted and she were alive, mm-hmm. she would Heart be she would be acting differently to Happy Hogan. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? She would be acting to, like I'm saying she was also dusted with mm-hmm. Peter, so that if and when they come back, they were both like, this oh, "What's usual. going on? This is you know, yeah. what's going on?" As opposed to like yeah. Peter, oh my God, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. that's what I think is You're happening. Back from the dead, yeah, just to avoid any like sense. complication sense. to 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 the MCU. Okay, um, and Civil War yeah. being the second Russo brothers movie, it again raises the stakes. For the second time, yeah. now splitting the Avengers into yes. two separate teams. Yes. Team Cap, Team Iron Man, right, mm-hmm. right. which will then obviously have huge ramifications once we go into Infinity War. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Avengers are not fighting Thanos together. Right, right, Agreed. right. Agreed. Now, before we move on to the theatrical next movie, which is Doctor Strange, we're actually going to put Spider-Man Homecoming in here. Because Homecoming takes place you know, after this summer. This is mm-hmm. all happening in May with mm-hmm. Civil War. Peter gets recruited by Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Then Peter goes back to school in the fall. And this is what's happening during Spider-Man Homecoming, supposed to sort of take place in 2016. And the last scene in that movie, which I'll talk about in a minute, with this dude right here, Vulture, Adrian Mm Toomes, in custody, Michael Keaton. When he sees Scorpion, this is supposed to happen at, like, end of September. Now, the last scene in Black Panther takes place after this. The last mm-hmm. scene in mm-hmm. Doctor Strange takes place after this. So this, let's just cover this Spider-Man stuff. A lot of supporting players. I don't know how many of these are going to factor in, but mm-hmm. I love Spider-Man Homecoming. I think this movie's awesome. So we have the Vulture, Michael Keaton, his homie, Tinker, Phineas Mason, introduced in the opening scene with uh, the fight of, you know, the Battle of New York, yeah. Anne-Marie control. Hogue, who represents Damage Control. Also, the, the second shocker, Herman Schultz, and the first shocker, Jackson Bryce are introduced in this opening scene. What are you, a wrestler? Cut to mistake. The movie says eight years later. It's four. It's like four (laughs) years later. So can we address that for a second? In 2016. Yeah, straight up mistake. Why do we think that that happened? Let me tell you this, because even the Rousseaus, even the Rousseaus, as awesome as movies as they make, in Captain America Civil War, they have the vision say, for eight for the past eight right. years since you've announced yourself as Iron, Iron Man, Man yeah. mm-hmm. Paul Bettany's referring to the year two thousand eight right, right, when right, Iron right. Man came eight out. But with the way this sh- this shit works, Iron Man took place in two thousand nine. Yeah. So that's already that's already like off. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think what's happening is the Rousseau brothers are going off of just the year the movie came out in. Right, right, right. And some and somebody is at Marvel isn't telling them like, well actually we have kind there's of a, a there's a no Hector. Of a, there's no yeah, Hector there. A little bit of advise. a complex, you know, to yeah. and, and and honestly to their credit, I get it because they probably don't want Paul Bettany to say, in the seven years since you because then the audience will go, That's not when that movie came out. Yeah. Exactly. Right, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like mm-hmm. do you leave that line out? Do you you know, do you put four years later to make the audience sit there and do math? Yeah. Right. Right. Or do you just go, okay, look, it was a mistake, my you know, bad, right. move Whatever. along. Whatever. Look, but even so, is. even yeah. that being said, yeah. to put eight years it's a lot. after it's a jump. the first Avengers, yeah. which would make it in 2020. Yeah, sure. And it's it, like, yeah. That's or, why? or if they were trying to say that the first Avengers took place a year or so after Iron, Iron Man, Man and Iron 1, Man 2, yeah. then they're, then th- maybe they put it in their head at like 2009, 2009, 2009 mm-hmm. to yeah. make it like, okay, now, and you know why the other reason I think they did that is because in the opening scene, he's holding a picture drawn crudely by a child, mm-hmm. and he's like, look at that, what do you think? My kid's an artist, what do you think? It used to be cowboys and Indians, and Phineas is like, it's Native Americans, like, don't say Indians. <laughs> so, but because it's drawn like a kid, yeah. and then they go eight years later, that's so that later when we learn that his daughter is Liz Toombs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we make the connection of like, oh, okay, she's the one that drew the picture, but now she's like 16. Now she's right, 15, right, right, 16. Yeah. If they had said four years later, she would have been like 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we would have been like, that's a bad that's drawing a for a 12 year old. <laughs> yeah. Go back to school. That's what I think. Ultimately, yeah. it's not super important. Right. But now that we're talking about the kids, we've got Liz Toombs. Love Liz in this movie. Just like a lovely character. Yes. Super nice. Agreed. Ned Leeds, Man in the Chair. Awesome. Principal Marita. One of my favorites, Michelle MJ, MJ Jones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eugene Flash Thompson. Tony Rivalori. Mm-hmm. These guys are great. Abraham Atta plays Abraham Brown. Mm-hmm. Hilarious. More faculty. Roger Harrington. <laughs> Coach Wilson. <laughs> hilarious. Coach Wilson's the best. Coach needs to come back in and every movie. We got Prowler, aka Aaron Davis, Dude. aka Donald Childish Glover. Gambino. Guys, we were just watching his, in the new, MCU. his new short film. Yeah. We need the Prowler. Yeah. I want this yeah. evolution to continue. Yeah. Especially after seeing the uh, Far from, Not Far From Home, the um, Spider Man in Spider Verse uh, Prowler. Yes. yes. Like the potential Marshall that that Ali character has. Crushed and his nephew Dang. is Miles. That's right. So there's there's a lot of great seed planting he happening here. Also brought here. out Matt Gargan. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, mm-hmm. who later will become the Scorpion. Yeah. He's already got a Scorpion mm-hmm. tat. So he's in custody. Shocker's in custody. Vulture's in custody, right? Mm-hmm. Great, great characters. Hope to see them come back. Rumors. Phineas got away. 
Anne Marie yeah. Hoag, probably not going to nah. factor into the movie. No. Jackson Bryce died. Done, done. Vulture killed him mm-hmm. accidentally. He's like, you're the shock. I'm the shocker. I'm shocker. the shocker. What are you, a wrestler? Prowler. He's up in the mix. Don't see him factoring in yeah. soon. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Principal Marita, Roger Harrington, Coach Wilson, same deal. Also, worth mentioning, Marita, Principal Marita, is the descendant of... Oh, uh, ex- ex- Jim Marita, yeah. who is deceased, who right, was one right, of the Howling right. Commandos. That's right. Out of all of these kids here, here's what I'm going to do for Endgame. Now, I know, I know I'm, we're going to see... Probably these four in Far From Home, mm-hmm. right? And I, I mean, Eugene Flash Thompson's in the trailer, Definitely but not in game material. I don't know I'm if thinking in the trailer for in game. I'm, uh, think, I'm thinking. I think we got We might two. see maybe Ned's and, Mich- and MJ in Endgame, yeah. maybe mm-hmm. if and when things. I think you know, at, at the very least, these two. I think May and Ned for yeah. sure. I think because again, yeah. you know, post credit scene, they're gonna set up Far right, From right. Home. You know exactly. what I mean? Like we might even mm-hmm. see that. So that's Spider-Man Homecoming. Augustine, hit us with that Black Panther, though. Just real quick. Yes. I want to say that uh, Spider-Man Far... Uh, no, uh, Homecoming was mm-hmm. my exit as a VFX artist. So it was oh, the last, oh, oh, last Marvel one. movie nice. that I got to work on. My so. last one was, uh, I think, Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. What Spider-Man about yours, Adam? I think my last one was Avengers Age of Ultron. That's awesome. Really? Yeah. Ultron? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Or so no, actually, dude. it was Ant-Man. Because Ant-Man came Yeah, I remember you were... Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so that movie is always going to be near and dear to my heart. Next up. Okay, so next is another movie that... That's near and dear to my heart. Dude. This movie was a worldwide revolution in filmmaking, in directing, in, in everything, really. Yeah. Uh, we're talking Black Panther. Black yeah, Panther. Baby. All right. We're starting mm-hmm. off with Njobu. I feel like mm-hmm. we need to just play the Black Panther theme. I know. We just point. need to just play all just, <laughs> just from now on, just only play Black Panther music. This is, That's right. you know, the flashback in 1992 where he so is killed. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Prince then we have Njobu. Zuri who comes in and... Uh, and is a secret spy at that That's point. Right. Mm-hmm. That's uh, right. Infiltrating. We have the badass Okoye, uh, mm-hmm. who's the leader of the Dormilaje. Mm-hmm. We have Nakia, who's the secret secret spy at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, also another badass character who I want to see again. Yeah. We have Ramonda, who is the uh, she's the queen, right? Angela queen. Bassett is she's a queen. queen. Is, is a queen. She's a queen. Yes, we queen. have uh, lots of potential being held by Shuri, <laughs> yes. but unfortunately, uh, we found out she was decimated. This was. Heartbreaking. That was a <laughs> sad one. That, that was, was a real, so real sad one. Yeah. Uh, if I was in the Black Panther universe, I would probably be a part of Umbaku's tribe. Hell uh, yes. Most likely. Yeah. He's in Duke. Yes. Uh, and the one Jabari. of my favorite characters of all time, Eric oh Killmonger Stevens. So good. Yo, this movie's this, good. This movie's so good. This movie's, this movie's good. knocks it out of the park, yeah. dude. Uh, and then we have Mr. Wakabi, who, yes. uh, not my favorite. Because he's kind of a slimy little snake. Yeah. Um, Listen, a little bit. His a intentions bit. are, in, his heart's in the right place. Listen, but I, yeah. one of my friends told me that if she had a man like Wakabi, <laughs> she would have lost him a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Listen, his dad got killed. Yeah. His dad got killed by Claw. No excuse. So he was asking no T'Challa, go get him. No excuse. And T'Challa said, I promise no. I'll he's get him. Slimy. He couldn't. He's a little slimy. Look, I knew, right. I knew we were going right. to be in for a good time when you and I went to go see Creed together. Oh, yeah. And we mm. cried and we cried endlessly. Mm-hmm. Like babies. And then so we were like, Ryan Coogler, Black Panther, let's go. Game changer. Kind of slimy, Wakabi is in custody. Good. In Wakanda. Good. Which I was so actually very curious about because yeah. we got to Infinity War. Not that I was expecting the character to have a role. Right. But n- no mention. Same thing with Nakia. No mention And Ramonda. And Ramonda, yeah. And Ramonda, yeah. So... Let's remove the deceased off the table. No, oh. we uh, might, never forget uh, you, listen, Eric Killmonger. We might see him in the ancestral plane. Yeah. Rumor maybe. is that Michael B. Jordan's coming back for Black Panther too. So, like, maybe. what's your speculation on that? Well, how do you I think didn't we're even know him? he was coming back, dude. In that's Black the rumor. Rumors, baby. Uh, I, I, I hope. Flashback. He's, so I saw this plane. really beautiful, um, this really beautiful uh, fan art of what if Killmonger, what if Eric was not abandoned mm-hmm. in Oakland. Oh, I've and this seen is that. beautiful what picture. If? I've seen that. This is beautiful picture of him and and uh T'Challa, T'Challa and Shuri taking a selfie together, Dang. looking all cool and shit, all happy like it's just it, it's it's a lot of potential there and it, yeah. it's just there's a lot that we could say about the character. But we have to move on. Um so we have Okoye, Nakia and Ramonda. Do you think any of these players are going to Okoye for sure is going to be is in an end game. We know that. Right there on the poster. Boom, baby. Right there. Right there. I'm saying M'Baku might even make an appearance. I think, I so. think so. I think so. But just like Infinity War, yeah. we didn't see Nakia. We didn't see no. Ramonda. That's going to be Black Panther 2 material. I think so. I yeah, think so. I not and today. Honestly, not today. It's it's almost like a why wasn't Natalie Portman in Avengers exactly. scenario. Right, it's right, like right. money. I don't like. I'm like. I don't know if they want to. I don't know if they have the. I don't, budget for I don't think this it. is a money Lupita situation. I think it's just that we don't need too it. many characters. I think. I just think it's just not going to serve the story at this point. Okay. 
Well, all of that happens from, I mean, obviously we get the flashback in 1992 yes. that opens up Black Panther, but from like June to dis, to October, no, June, July is like the events of Black Panther. Mm-hmm. In October, T'Challa addresses the UN. Mm-hmm. And then in December, that's how sort of long it takes, because remember, Bucky was taken to mm-hmm. Wakanda mm-hmm. to heal. Mm-hmm. Bucky wakes up and is called the White Wolf, and that's mm-hmm, happening mm-hmm. December of 2016. So now we get to Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange opens supposedly in 2015 with the theft of the Book of Cagliostro mm-hmm. by Cassilius, this guy right here, who at the end of the movie turns into a mindless one. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what happens to Mads Mikkelsen's character. Right. And it is the book is stolen by from the Ancient One, uh-huh. from Ancient One here, who T-Swins. she is deceased, T- Tilda Swinton, introduced to a later major player. Dude, we're running out of room for... Decimated. <laughs> What's yeah, we're, happening? We're absolutely oh man! Doctor Strange, many. Stephen Strange, who coined the phrase a little after Tony Stark did, but we're in the End Game now. Yeah. Introduced to Christine Palmer, great supporting character. Wish they did more with mm-hmm. Rachel McAdams. Mm-hmm. Another uh, great actor in a tiny role. Nicodemus West is in this movie. This character, Jonathan Pangborn, status unknown. Did Carl Mordo, Mordo get him at the end of the movie and like kill him, take his magic away? What's happening? Is he no going to be? Disabled again? We don't know what's going on. Wong. Boy this dude. Yeah. Wong, major player. Yep. And then the villain, Dormammu, I'm here to bargain. Is, so, he, still, is he still locked in the I time mean, loop thing? Yeah, he's thing? in the dark dimension. I, he's not in the time uh, loop thing. He's free from that. Yeah, he's right. He exists outside of time right. because he struck the deal with Stephen That's Strange. Right. Right. He didn't yeah, want yeah. that shit That's in right. his realm. So he's still there, mm-hmm. but he's existing outside of time okay. and space. Wong, quite possibly Sorcerer Supreme. Quite possibly Maybe. Sorcerer Supreme. Definitely major player. Yeah. Yes. Right? I'm gonna go with Jonathan Pangborn, unknown. Let's Sorry, get him. Benjamin Bratt. Off, get him out of here. Off of the table here. Get him out of here. Unknown. Um, we have Ancient One deceased. I don't think she's coming back. I don't nope. think so either. She's gone. Cassilius. Not coming back. Not coming back. No. Christine Palmer, Nicodemus no. West, no. Carl Mordro, uh, Dormammu. This no. is all Doctor Strange. Those are sequels. Too. Those are sequels, sequels, baby. But Stephen Strange. Bro. Right there. Right Look, there. Decimated. We'll fix oh, that. Man. But we'll fix that. Doctor Strange liked the movie. Didn't love it. Liked it. Thought it set up a lot of really cool stuff. Sure. A new cool Same. realm of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But dude, Thor Ragnarok Infinity War and Infinity and Ragnarok. War. Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. It's th- it's awesome. He's now, a great yeah. character. Doctor Strange is still yeah. fun to watch. Pluck but in the gem out of the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Was dope. Brilliant. In 2D mm-hmm. and 3D. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so with Doctor Strange ending around 2017, where. Uh, actually, it's in the events of Thor Ragnarok, which is like in November of 2017. Um, and all that stuff happens in 2017, apparently, is the Battle of the New York Sanctum, the Battle of the Mirror Dimension. So, yeah, Doctor Strange is sort of training from 2016 into 2017, where then he has to take on the mantle right. of Sorcerer Supreme. Right. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, and then we got over to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume so 2. This Most movie of this happens in 2014, yeah. mm-hmm. except for the last scene, it's which is six, why it's here. Six the, months mm-hmm. after the first Guardians, right? right. No, two months. Two months. Two months. So, okay. so that little sprout is Baby Groot. Uh, mm-hmm. But, Augustine, what other characters are we introduced so to? So the other characters that we two. have here are Ego, the living planet, Boom. Boom. who ends up being a celestial, right? He's yeah. sort of like a celestial entity, mm-hmm. which is cool for the uh, whole whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Aisha. Yes. A- mm. Aisha? Aisha? I think it's Aisha. 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 Yeah. Not sure. Of the Sovereign. <laughs> yeah, the, perfect, the perfect golden Taser people. face. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Taser face. Stakar Alger. Dude, Sylvester Bro, Stallone. You got Tango and Cash in this on, movie. Kiss my grits. Martin X, mm-hmm. which Michael sounds Rosenbaum. like a cleaning product. It does. <laughs> uh, Mantis. Yeah, yeah, another character um, I love. So good. Mm-hmm. The Watcher, or Watchers. The watcher. Sure, the Watchers. Sure. And, then, uh, and this is also the part where... We learn Stanley. Stan Lee, yeah. We learned that yeah. Stanley is has now been called a watcher informant. Right. That's his like cosmic <laughs> title. Immortal baby. Why mm-hmm. were they talking to him? Yeah, because he's immortal. Charlie Twenty Seven. Yes. Uh, yeah. Who's Ving Rhames? Ving Rhames. Uh, Alita. Is that her name? Yes. Alita Oz- Algord. O- Ogard. 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 Uh-huh. Ogard. Uh, mainframe. Who I didn't even know was Michelle a character. Yo. Mainframe. A little uh, speaking head. That's Miley Cyrus. Kroger uh, from Costco. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Kruger. <laughs> oh, okay. And Krugar. in the in the credits, <laughs> our first introduction to. Grandmaster. The Grandmaster, and then the Mr. Grandmaster himself, yeah. who has Jack the best birthdays Gold ever. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> so we have got in yeah. here the major decimated is Mantis, uh, which is a real bummer. Which yeah. is a real bummer. So um, let's talk. Let's take off the characters that are going to be sequels, yes. right? Actually, let's do deceased first. Yeah, Ego, let's get the deceased out. Not, not coming back. Taser face, not coming back. They're gone now. 
sequel characters, Aisha, because she's yep. building Adam Warlock. Adam right. Warlock. That's probably going to be volume three. It's to Carr. Did we, have, did, we, did, did we not make a card for Adam Warlock? No, no we because he's, make a, he's a cocoon so far. Hey, he's, a, no. he's a cocoon. I wouldn't I had, put it past you. Hey, I had to have some <laughs> limits, all right? <laughs> I, otherwise, yeah. I would I would have made a card for the still android in Captain America, the first Avenger. Right, that's right. the exactly. synth- synthetic man. <laughs> I didn't do that. Um, Aisha, Stakar, Martin X, Charlie 27, Alita, the alternate Mainframe, Guardians. Krugar. Yeah, these are the old, like o- o- OG, OG Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. Their sequel stuff. Mm-hmm. So is Aisha. Sequel stuff. I don't see the Watchers playing into no. this. Not they yet. Might, they might observe They're great it. Easter eggs. Great Easter yeah. eggs. And I also don't see. Well, you know what? Not in this movie, I don't think. Well, if Not we're putting Collector one. here. These two are in a league of their own, though. These two yeah. are like almost like the Deadpool's of the, so of the like, universe, <laughs> yeah. where so they like, could just come in like, and out as they please. That's like maybe. That's like maybe. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll I can see. Get behind that. Right, so right, right. that's the events of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Augustine, keep it going with Thor Ragnarok. Oh my Finish God. off. One Bro. of my favorites. My favorite. Uh, I will say one of my favorite trailer reactions. So fun. Oh, with Hector. Solely because you guys couldn't even get into that Marvel panel. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. bummed about it. And then we watched yeah. that trailer. And this guy's reaction to Surtur. Oh, yeah, yeah, my yeah. God. Yeah, I was very excited. <laughs> Speaking of, he's mm-hmm. the character that we start off with. So we Son start off with bitch. Surtur. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we uh, go into Mr. Burt Jennings himself, yes, the executioner. <laughs> Dude, I was going to do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. 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 It's our buddy Burt Jennings. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't I'll, don't I'll be fooled Bert. by Scourge or executioner. Yeah. <laughs> it's Burt Jennings. Uh, Thank you. Then we have the amazing Loki actor. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Decimated. Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne. The Loki actor. The Thor actor, who is really Thor. Uh, Chris, Hemsworth's Chris Hemsworth's brother, brother right? Yeah, yeah. Luke Hemsworth, so I think. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. We have Odin actor. Yeah, Sam Neill, baby. Sam Neill. <laughs> so good. Alan Grant. So good. Dr. Alan Grant. Uh, and then we go into the amazing performance by Hela. Oh, yeah. So good. Uh, and then we go into Valkyrie, Ooh, who has a very so convoluted much. story, who I think is going to play a huge role yep. yes. coming up Hell in yeah. the next uh, yep. phase of everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Topaz, which is a nice callback. She was in Hunt for the Wilder People and yes. a few other roles. Yes. That she, Taika Waititi loves her. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Mr. Korg himself, mm-hmm. who hates ghosts <laughs> and <laughs> piss off ghost piss off ghost and then we have mr meek, meek. who uh is a rambunctious little ant creature thingy yeah decimated loki actor which Dang, is hilarious unfortunate but he's in the decimated uh, pile so deceased and not coming back surter definitely mm-hmm. not um Surge. hella definitely not Man, topaz i love me some Kate blanchett though okay here's the deal though with Hella, uh, okay. Look, look, um, look. Here's, look. here's what I'm gonna she's, do. She's involved okay. in the Ragnarok cycle. Yeah. Yes. So she is. She's an she's Asgardian. Also in a so she's gonna, she's with, gonna be coming back with Executioner. Right. Okay. Exactly. So because they're of that, in the whole category of their own. Though. I'm putting them over here. Right. I'm putting okay. them because okay. I want to talk about that for a second. But um, Thor actor, Odin actor, probably this is like never I don't gonna, care. This cameos. is fun cameos. <laughs> um, Korg and Meek. I think. Look, uh-huh. we're gonna see them, but not in Endgame. No. I I don't disagree, but I wouldn't be surprised if mm-hmm. we get the backstory of what happened to Valkyrie uh-huh. prior to the events of Infinity War. With gotcha. them, if she's Good if point. they're with her. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Valkyrie. So there's potential. Major but player. Valkyrie, key player. Yeah. Major yeah. key 100%. player. Key player. So just with this, here's what I want to talk about with this. My theory mm-hmm. for the Asgardians, including Loki, yeah. especially the Warriors Three, mm-hmm. si- you know, Frigga. And yeah. then Sif when she gets undecimated. Sure, 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 sure. Um, but not Odin. My theory is Odin has died. He's passed on the Odin power mm-hmm. to Thor. Mm-hmm. You know, he kind of tapped into it a little bit. Mm-hmm. At yeah. the end of Ragnarok. I love that mm-hmm. part. I think if and when this whole thing gets settled, I think we're going to get a Thor 4. I'm hoping Taika comes back. Yep. And I believe that with the Odin force, Thor will be able to resurrect he has guardians, mm-hmm. except for Odin, because he like that because that's the block because he, he officially has yes. the Odin force. Yeah, now. so he yeah. can't do that. But so he's he gonna, is Odin. But he'll be able to bring all these characters back. Loki, maybe as a teenage kid, mm-hmm. maybe as a woman. I don't know. Maybe that'll factor into his own TV show. Mm-hmm. But to bring them back and and. I want Thor for the Wilder people with Thor and a teen Loki. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's basically yeah. what I want. But That's I also Thor. I also Wilder want people. Thor yeah. to hand off the hammer oh, to absolutely. Valkyrie. To Valkyrie yeah. Ooh, or okay. to mm-hmm. Better Ray Bill for a second. Mm-hmm. Or even, let's yeah. bring back... Or to the frog. Let's bring back... Or the frog. The Thor, the Thor frog. frog. Or, or let's bring back <laughs> Natalie Portman. But that's my theory. <laughs> or Natalie Portman, For yeah. the Asgardians, which are dead, but like different dead. Yeah. But so I, like, I think you're right, though. I they're think not they're, really dead. Yeah, and I think there is opportunity dead. to bring back a lot of these Asgardian characters. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. I want more Heimdall, damn it. Agreed. 
Agreed. So well, I mean, yeah, I gotta, I gotta let you borrow the Straczynski run, like Dude. the, the there's good. They're caught let in me the, get that good, good. They're goodness. caught in the yeah. cycle of Ragnarok. Yeah. And yes. You understand that it's just like they die and, and then they resurrect. Back, what so happens yeah. in that comic book? Where does Thor move Asgard to? Yeah. Hovering over the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, okay. he brings back all of Asgard and it's just floating like That's three feet above. I think he's gonna do that, but in Norway. Because in oh, Ragnarok, yeah, yeah, Odin yeah, yeah. said, Norway. he goes, look yeah, at this yeah. place. This could be our yeah. home. Yep. Asgard isn't a place. It's a people. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, let's True. follow that let's through. Follow let's, that through. Br- let's bring Asgard just to over Earth. over the ocean, just kind of yeah. dangling there. Oh, that, so that would be sick. amazing. It would be dope. Right? It would be dope. Because right? Asgard's destroyed. Yeah, so where are they going to sure. live? Um, yeah, I really think that we could see that happen. Adam, keep it going with... So right up now with Thor mm-hmm. Ragnarok, this is the post-credit scene is Thanos arrives. That's the credit scene. Guardians of the Galaxy. The post-credit scene is... You know, Teen Groot has got a messy room, and that mm-hmm. happens a little bit before uh, Avengers Infinity War. Mm-hmm. So now we are here. The attack on the Statesman, <laughs> which is the Asgardian ship, yeah. mm-hmm. happens Wednesday, May 2018, somewhere on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Literally the next day, Thursday, is the sacrifice of Gamora slash the Battle of Wakanda slash the Battle of Titans slash Decimation. And that Thursday, Nick Fury calls Captain Marvel before being dusted by Thanos. This is happening. Bing, bang. This is happening back to back so to fast. Back to yeah. What characters are we introduced to that super die, Adam? Look, I fucking love Infinity War. Yeah, <laughs> I might so go good. rewatch it after it's we do so this. It's uh, so good. But we are good. introduced to some. I, I think we don't get introduction to a lot of like villain teams. Yeah, not important. And I love the fact that we get these characters. And even though they don't make it through this movie, I love all of them by the end Agreed. of it. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. They're, they're so good. I but got two action figures. I need the other two. I'm waiting mm-hmm. for them. Ebony mm-hmm. Maw. Dope. Mm-hmm. Super dope character. Squidward. Yep. Very intimidating, <laughs> very terrifying. Oh god! He seemed like and, a like any, a horror. Any yes. movie. Midnight, badass. God, Corvus the, Glaive. The fights with these four in 3D is so, so good. good. Yeah. So good. Okay, when Corvus. these two yeah. show up, which they're a couple, by the way. Yes, when mm-hmm. they show up to try to take down Vision and Wanda. Yeah. Great. And Cap and 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 Black Widow and Falcon Fal- come yeah. in. It's such a good fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and of course, Cole Obsidian. Yep. Which, uh, if Hulk I saw him, him in the middle mm-hmm. of the street, I would run like shit. <laughs> uh, I think you could yeah. take him. And E Tree. E Tree. Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. coming Dinklage. in. Uh-huh. We Duke. learn who we learn constructed the Infinity Gauntlet. It's right. True. And helped and Thor forge Stormbreaker. And just to just to time travel back in time for yeah. a second, if we go back to Phase <laughs> Two, mm-hmm. the end of Avengers: Age of Ultron. Yeah. Uh, like that movie took place in May of 2015. In May 9th, like not that long after, mm-hmm. that was the massacre of the dwarves slash Thanos retrieves in Infinity Gauntlet. That right. happened in 2015 because people were checking online and they're asking me, how do I know that? According to the wiki, they said that the Rousseau's said that this happened closer to Age of Ultron than it did to Infinity War. Mm. So it happened, you know, when he goes, fine, I'll do it myself. myself. Like mm. he's already massacred the dwarves. Yeah. that's yeah. And so it was three years until Thor showed up, and that's why Ichi was like, "Where were you? Yeah. What ha-? you know? Like yeah. that was it. We're done." I really hope they take a, a hint from uh, Avengers: Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Mm-hmm. The culmination of that show. Oh yeah. Iron Man goes oh, yeah, to I the remember. dwarves and gets a suit made by the dwarves. No Everybody shit. gets like a special edition weapon from the dwarves. It's like Asgardian tech. It's Asgardian tech, mm, dude. That's it's so dope. Oh, you imagine that? Iron Man in Asgardian tech? Come on. I can. My, my God. Yes, I, I know. So because you reminded me of that, Eitri's going like yes, in, the in there somewhere. He's got to have something to do the in deceased, this movie. They're the deceased. They're the, Sorry. The, the, um, what are they, the, the, the Black Order? The Black, Black Order, Order yeah. right? They're so gone. So, do you think but there is an opportunity with any sort of time changing, time shifting, that those characters could come back for a second run, or do I you mean, think it's like, nah, we we did that? I mean, maybe, but I feel like it's mostly now nah, we did that. Yeah. I think that they serve their purpose in in the story of Infinity War, yeah. and I mean, look yeah. at all the look at all these characters. So many players this still is in the game, yeah. And a yeah. bunch of these need to come back, and we still have two more movies to go, We're really in the quick. Endgame now. Most of these movies take place before the events mm-hmm. of Infinity War, of course, except, again, their end one credits moment. Their end credits are a little bit after, yeah. which is why we're placing them here. Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is a fun one. Let's get through mm-hmm. this quick. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Woo. So he good. is like an FBI Park, agent. Great. Whatever. Randall Park. Amazing. Sonny Birch. Mm-hmm. He's in custody. Walton the bad Goggins. guy in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Walton Goggins. Ghost. Ava Starr. She's still out there mm-hmm. with their, her mentor, Bill Foster. Uh, a.k.a. Perry White, a.k.a. Lawrence Fishburne. Mm-hmm. And then in the flashback, we learn about Ava's backstory. Yeah. Her father, Elias Starr, was mm-hmm. killed in an, in an accident that kind of gives her her ghost powers. So dead is dead. He's out. <laughs> custody is custody. He's, He's over out. here. <laughs> ghost and Bill Foster, sequel, yes. Yep. along with Jimmy Woo. I yep. also would like to say I really like the character of Ghost. I thought yeah. it was a yeah. new villain. 
Great Very image, like yeah. different, I different, like different, and I dug it. Totally. And again, Ant Man and the Wasp happens about a week. Bef- it begins a week before Infinity War, with you know the arrest of Hank Pym and Hope mm-hmm. Van Dyne, and the rescue of Janet Van Dyne it happens in Wednesday, and then Thursday, a week later, uh, Hank, Janet, and Hope get dusted by Thanos, and then on that same Thursday, a little bit after that, mm-hmm. Scott's pet ant is like playing drums yeah. right, while right, we right, actually right. see the first emergency <laughs> yeah. broadcast like yeah. oh, oh this is what's so happened yeah. post snap yeah. like yeah. to the earth with the emergency broadcast system then we get captain marvel <sighs> most of this takes place in 1995 mm-hmm. carol danvers is, Back kid- in the is day. kidnapped in 89 but then regains her memory and she repels a kree attack on earth in 1995 yes. but then again you cut to post credit scene 2018 where captain marvel appears in avengers hq asking for fury so what characters so are we so introduced good. to and well, of course, you got to yeah. start off Carol Danvers, mm-hmm. aka Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. We Here also we got go. Marvel, Wendy right. Lawson, later revealed to be Marvel. That's right. Yeah. Jan in, Rog. In the flashback, Jan mm-hmm. Rog mm-hmm. then wakes up and starts training her. Mm-hmm. The Supreme Intelligence, also played by Annette Benning. But mm-hmm. it's a Cree exactly, leader. Uh-huh, exactly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Minerva. <laughs> Super dead. Super dead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gemma Atlas. Chan. Gemma Chan was Minerva. Loved her. Is this is Bron Carr. Sure, Bron Char. Bron Char, Bron Carr. This is like the Bron <laughs> Kitus, the Kree uh, Star Force. <laughs> uh, the very, very great Ben Mendelsohn yep. as Talos. Yes, mm-hmm. he's fantastic. He is he's the fantastic. newly introduced introduced species in the MCU. Very important. The scrolls. The scrolls. Yes. Very important. Uh, Goose. Mm-hmm. The, the, the Flurkin. The Flurkin. So the might flirkin. still be alive because yeah. I was going to say 1995 cat. This question was on HQ the other day. Yeah. The Flurkin. I forgot it was Flurkin. I was trying to type goose. No. I lost. Uh. It's fine. Uh, Maria Rambeau mm-hmm. and her daughter Monica Rambeau. Dang. Mm-hmm. I have Obviously some thoughts. allies of Carol Danvers. I have some thoughts here. So Monica goes over here. Monica yeah, is. Yeah, let's get them new. Monica and not, only, not right only is here. she future Avengers, but if she's this age in 1995, mm-hmm. she's probably our age or older yeah, than today. Yeah, she's got to be 25. I'm calling it right now. I've seen this online. I'm calling it right now. Um, uh, the wonderful actor from Star Trek Discovery, mm-hmm. Sonequa Martin Green, uh, would be a perfect oh, grown up version. Monica Rambeau. And okay. Sonequa is a phenomenal actor. She's blowing my mind with what she's doing on Star Trek Discovery. Dope. Calling it right okay. now, but that's next generation. Oh, that's yeah. This the is Avengers, the next generation. This is right the Avengers, the, the next generation. Avengers, yeah. So Maria <laughs> might factor into a sequel with yes. this, but she's over here. Right. Um, dead is dead. Marvel is, is dead. out. Minerva is mm-hmm. gone. I don't think any of the other Kree are going to play a role in this. No, I don't think so. So Kree, they will be, this is like sequel stuff. This is Captain Marvel Mm -hmm. sequel Mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, we might see Jude Law again. So this is is sequel stuff. Yeah. Um, Goose. I don't know about Goose. I don't, I don't I'm going to say not probably an not. Not I don't an think so. Sorry, you're no Antony. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. And Talos, again, I think this is sequel stuff. I don't yeah. think we'll see this him or next Scrolls. Phase stuff. This, not is, a, this is next phase that's stuff. next phase stuff. It's yeah. got to be next Secret phase invasion. Stuff. Yep. Not, not only that, yeah. I'm hoping that from Captain Marvel returning back to Earth after the decimation, Maybe there were some consequences. Maybe exactly. Talos and some of the some Maybe of the Maybe Talos' family were decimated. got decimated. Exactly. Like Ooh. that's the stuff that I'm like, great. How are we universe building the decimation? Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! This is it, guys. We're in the end this game. This is it now. right here. Okay. Dude. Now that's appropriate. We can. We <laughs> can. Uh, <laughs> well, so we'll take these guys off the board. I mean, we the, can take yeah. all those guys off the board, so we can sure. just kind of clear up. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the important thing is we have our supporting players here, which I just want to move down a little bit. Okay. We know we know what we're doing. We got su- we got supports. We got supports. All right. We have some cosmic level supports mm-hmm. over here. We got some some family and friends happening over here. We have some government agents over mm-hmm. here. Some cosmic level bullshit <laughs> over here. <laughs> government, family, and friends. What have you? Government. Family then we've got the the, the major major players. And I want to put the six OG yeah. Avengers here, huh? Huh. Get Captain huh. America in there, baby. Then we go boom. Yeah. Then we got some new Avengers, right. some new characters, maybe some supports over here, but like major players. Basically in anybody who can possibly fight Thanos. Yeah. yeah. Right. Then we have yeah. the decimated <coughs> over here. And this really is gonna be like a one to one like Yeah. You know Well, I mean you look at the you look at the marketing, the posters, it was yeah. thirty two characters. 16 from each side. 16 from each side. And that doesn't obviously account for all the other characters who we found out are decimated either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> after the fact. But I think but worrying about the key players of the decimation right. and the surviving Avengers right. and the ones that are going to actually go after Thanos. Yeah. That's what's important. 
I think our boy can come down from the heavens now <laughs> because uh, he's about he can to descend get, upon us. Finally, he, he is about to get a uh, butt cheek check by Ant Man. <laughs> Oh my God! So Thanos. This is pretty much. This is like. This is a cast of one movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is insane. Still yeah. This is insane. Let's get Anthony out of here. I'm sorry, man. Get the hell out of here. Oh, Super guy. dead. You're not Poor coming guy. back. You're not coming back. I'm sorry. Even if Tony Stark gets the gauntlet, <laughs> Scott Lang's not going to be like, bring back my aunt. Yeah. 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 Where's Anthony? Um. All right. This is intimidating. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but again, we. I don't think this is happening yeah. until. Two thirds or more into the this movie. This is right, two right, hours right. and off. thirty minutes yeah. into the Thank movie. Thank you, and it's a three-hour movie. No, right. for real. And they will, they will, there even, will be even a little bit of this will be some of that. Yes. And then you got characters like Pepper and Happy, who I think are going to be characters that like they're in it. They'll be in it. They're in it. Possibly rescuing Tony. Yes. 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 Yep. yes. Well, these two actually might possibly and rescuing Tony. We know that with the farm scene happening with mm-hmm. Hawkeye, him training a, a young woman, who we're like, well, that's too old to be one of his kids. That might be. Uh, Kate Bishop. Mm-hmm. I uh, think actually, we're gonna I see. Think, I think the Russos did confirm that that is that's his daughter. Clint's daughter. Yeah. Okay. Well, what the hell, man? Because she was like <laughs> because, because six the, in 2015. One of the Russo brothers. It's one of the Russo brothers' daughters that plays that role. Mm. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. In any case, Laura's gonna be in the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is all sort of pie in the sky. Mm-hmm. Like, will we see these characters around to 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 wrap things up or yeah. to explain right what where where was Valkyrie? What's exactly. happening with the What's happening with the collector? What's happening with May Parker and Peter and yeah, and and, MJ. and and, and what's happening with Red Skull and e Red it's Skull is the interesting one for me. I'm yeah. like, are we going to go back I think to he's the Soul just, Stone? I, I think he's just caught in limbo. I, I don't yeah. think he's going to be a major player at all. No. I he's agree. just kind of suffering there. Heaven, hell. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But honestly, we might see him in Guardians 3. Yeah. Like, yeah. we might see. So, so yeah. So, we have Thanos chilling. And we've like talked about this. Mm-hmm. Like a villain. I think Vision will come back the same way Ultron always comes back. Mm-hmm. I think when everything gets settled, one of these stones is going back into his head, and Tony and Bruce and you Thor will You don't think that he him. backed himself up onto uh, something? Possibly. Onto one of Tony's mainframes? But I think it's going to still be a little bit cosmic difficult to get him back. Well, yeah, As of opposed course, to just, you know... It's not just going to be like, beep, bop, boop, yeah. we a new Vision. He's like, back. No. Yeah. Bop, bop, beep. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> uh, six OG Avengers. I think this will be some of their last movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I believe I mean we're get she's getting her own movie. Hawkeye's getting his own show. I hope we see Banner again yeah. in in at least a movie to hand off the mm-hmm. Hulk mm-hmm. title. I don't I don't want to just go back to Universal before. and do nothing. Right. And I would love to see Iron Man. I think they're all gonna live, but I would love mm-hmm. to see Iron Man come back in a mentor. Well, you like, think about it too, it's six stones, six Avengers. Yeah. Is yeah. it gonna be a sacrificial thing where they are going to sacrifice their lives to resurrect to literally everybody else. I don't know. Or is it going to be? Know. Or is that? Or is that just coincidental that it's six and six? I, I think it's. I think it's partly coincidence, but that might have. Like, look, we have it's a fun no theory. idea. Yeah. yeah. What is going to happen? We have yeah. no idea. Like, there's theories that Doctor Strange, when he went out and put that kind of like dimensional blocker that mm-hmm. Thanos turned into butterflies. That yeah. we've been in the mirror dimension. That he's been in the I mirror know. dimension. I know. All, long have been planning this Exactly. Out. So mm-hmm. we don't know what happened when they were planning this coordinated attack mm-hmm. on Thanos on, on his planet. Yeah. We so know some of it. We know some of it, yeah. but we don't know the full details of what Doctor Strange was planning. That one so outcome. So it's really difficult to predict what exactly is going to happen in this movie, which I fucking love because I don't want to know what's happening in this For movie. For me, that's the most exciting thing having yeah. gone through 22 movies follow this ever since the beginning for 10 years straight 11 mm-hmm. years going into mm-hmm. 11 years now to go into the 22nd film of the marvel cinematic universe and not knowing right what's gonna what happen the because they've done such on. a good job with the marketing yeah keeping everything as under wraps as they yeah. th- as they could have i have heard things from people that i know that characters definitely do die mm-hmm. but no details of who actually dies mm-hmm. i think we're definitely going to see some losses in the original roster and I think there will be characters who won't necessarily die, like Hector's been saying. Mm-hmm. They will transition into a more mentor-like yeah. role, potentially mm-hmm. a yeah. Nick Fury type role. As Those well. are the two that I'm confused on. So these two are either going to die or become mentors. mentors. Yeah. I think mentor. I think one of two things is going to happen with Steve. He's either going to become the new director of Shield, right? Where he's had that role in the comic books, and he has been. He's he's like 
He's an interesting head of shield because he's not as gray as Nick Fury. He's mm-hmm. obviously good, but that isn't always the best way to be right, the right, director, right. right? So that could be interesting for Cap, and it's not necessarily something I want to see explored in a movie, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. if we get, you know, um, uh, like if War Machine gets a movie or... Right, or, right. or if any Don Cheadle has talked about, yeah. It's, if yeah. Spider-Man gets a future movie, but then he has to report to S.H.I.E.L.D. on something, mm-hmm. and then Chris Evans shows up. And, like, and that, yeah. that could be something. Or and option number two, he somehow is allowed to retire, maybe even age up a little bit now Peggy has passed away or maybe even live back in time possibly with Peggy. Mm-hmm. I'm scared about that because we watched CW The Flash we've seen that show yeah. and when you mess with the timeline shit goes bad yeah. but if not that maybe I had a date maybe ha- being able to live some kind of a happiness life with Sharon over maybe. here maybe, maybe. in that, the present is that weird and gross I mean, <laughs> I don't think so. It, look, yes I don't and think no. It's weird and gross. Yes and no, but he it's never, from the comics too. He's, he he's, never. He's ninety, ninety nine years old at this guys, point. I know. He never hooked up with Peggy. Oh, Agreed. he's a virgin. Agreed. He had a date. Mm, like maybe. Let this man. Maybe. Maybe. This man save the world, and you're gonna yeah. be like, it's kind of gross, guys. Yeah, like, like, no, fuck that. No, hey, yeah. If it happens. Me- meanwhile, I'm happy for <laughs> meanwhile, Cap, I'm happy Cap can plow through meanwhile, all of these women if he wants, and I'd be like, you get it, Cap. All of America. You get it, Cap. You're totally right, Augustine. You all, avenge America. Like, you can do every. Everything you want. The same people that say this shit's gross and creepy are the same ones that are so stoked for Game of Thrones to come back so they can see all them cousins <laughs> fuck each other. That's not all me. those brothers and sisters bang each other, have babies, right, bang right, on top right. of their dead babies. Like, and then everybody gets killed. They're the same people killed. that are like, yeah. oh, Steve's gross. Oh, I can't wait for Cersei to come back. And, yeah. Oh, she they're, fucked yeah. her brother and she's my favorite. Like, yeah. that's what are you was, doing? There also was a moment where Chris Evans talked about that he had thought, and I think he said he had even maybe hoped for it, that him and Black Widow would end up having. Mm. Oh, interesting. Would you do, do you prefer she, him she, to be with Sharon? She likes. She likes Hulk. <sighs> I okay. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about Widow for a second because I like she wants her Hulk babies. I like her with Banner. Yeah. I do like that, but I also would like it if they did what the comic books did. <laughs> And paired her with Bucky. Yeah. Mm. I also like that. And with her own solo movie coming out, oh, yeah. I would a like prequel, for him to be a part like. of it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Or even if it's a straight sequel. Like, that's an interesting dynamic, too. Because I also love Bruce Banner and Betty. Yeah. And if they brought back Liv Tyler, I would be like, Can you imagine this if makes me happy. The end That'd of the amazing. movie, Liv Tyler shows up. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm in. We won't see any of these characters. Yeah. We might not even see all of these characters. Right. These are for sure the ones that we will see come back. Yeah, and. Right. You've called it, Adam. When this motherfucker says, "Tony, Avengers assemble," <laughs> and all of it, but it, but it, but but it, like these, like twenty the characters, ashes. it's gonna be, it's yeah. gonna be crazy. It's gonna be epic. Yeah, but it's like, gonna be amazing. In that, the thing we, that you described to me we, last time is, is what's gonna happen to me in the theater. Yeah, we yeah. might, <laughs> yep. we might not see Nick Fury and Maria Hill yeah, yeah. with right, guns right, right. running into that fight, or Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne. Sure. But I'm hoping we see Wasp. Right. Yo, I'm hoping she's in with her suit and her stingers. Come I'm on, hoping. Baby. Um, I know T'Challa's going to be in. I'm hoping Shuri's in it with yeah. her. You know, yeah, with like her blasters. I'm yeah. hoping that what we see Shuri that. What if Shuri gets a suit in Endgame? It could happen. Well, dude. I mean, she could. Be, oh, she could put on a Black Panther suit. Yeah. There's nothing stopping her. I didn't yeah. think that we were going to get a new red and white suit for all of these dudes. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But like Nebula's in that suit. Rocket's right. in that. Like you know, Hulk I didn't think that was going to happen. Ant Man. So yeah. So that's incredibly exciting. So where do yeah. we think Phase Four? Phase Four is going to go. Like, well, is this going to factor in <clears throat> the scrolls? Well, no, I think no, no, the no. Next generation. The new, the I, next think, generation. I think we just put on the table and look. We know how Kevin Feige is. He likes yeah. to skirt around things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he has said they already have a five-year plan. Yep. For the time being, it does not include hey, the X-Men. I get that, but listen, but look, like, look at that. Exactly. See this? That's what I'm saying. They had a plan, and then they squeezed him into mm-hmm. a into a like a I little would say mention. That, I would say the in difference. Ant-Man. Is yeah. that it's one character versus with supporting characters, concepts. but like X-Men okay. is like but personally I'll I'd like to see the Fantastic Four before we get the X-Men. Agree. Sure. Yeah. And and I totally agree with you that we might not see them for five years, but, but that doesn't mean some, that we won't hear mention there. of the Baxter building. Richards. Read mm-hmm. Richard At like the Xavier to, School. To, uh, mm-hmm. to hear to, to hear Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Tony Stark say the words. Is that is that a new Richards paper? Let yeah. me let me let yeah. me take a look. Let me read that. that. Yeah. Let me read and that. And then they're like, like criticizing him. They're like, oh, this guy, this guy's <laughs> a genius. How old is he? <laughs> Amazing. Like, we might hear some of those mentions totally. and references yeah. and, Starts, and you know sprinkling those seeds in. We've already got yeah. Watchers. We've already got scrolls. We've already got Ronan the Accuser. We're right, like right, right. we're like a Galactus and a Doctor Doom away from the complete set. Mm-hmm. And Namor the mm-hmm. Submariner. And then that's the Fantastic Four bad guys. Right. Like right. that's it. Yeah. Come on, Universal, give them up. Phase four, I think, will be. What I would like to see is is the sort of new Avengers, the new heroes, finishing out the Doctor Strange, the Black yeah. Panther, the Spider-Man trilogies, mm-hmm. like of the new characters, obviously finishing Guardians, Guardians 3. 3. But I think what I would like to see is a reverse um, 
Avengers build up with good guys, but do it with bad guys. Mm-hmm. Whether it's like the Dark the Avengers, Dark Avengers uh, whether it's hey, you introduce Norman Osborn in a future Spider movie, and that character puts on the Iron Patriot suit right. just to only reveal I'm the Green <laughs> Goblin. Whether it's the Masters of Evil, we're talking about Helmet Zemo mm-hmm. in custody. He's the one mm-hmm. that could recruit Abomination. He's the one that can get you know another Russian robot guy, the Crimson right. Dynamo. Right, yeah. You bring back Executioner, maybe Hella. Like if she comes back resurrected. I would like to see a focus on villains because the past couple movies have had Thanos, Vulture, Killmonger, even Ghost, like interesting, great villains Mm -hmm. that that could be their focus without being like, okay, we got cosmic, end of the universe. How about end of the universe? You like, stop. You can't just keep going. People are going, it's going to be Galactus. I'm like, you can't just keep going with that. Bigger. We don't want that. Here's what I want. Internal. And and I base this all off of the saying that people say that if you don't die your hero, you live long Uh, enough to be the villain. What? (laughs) No. Hulk. No. Hulk starts losing it. Dr. Banner starts losing it a little Son bit. Son of a bitch. Dude, think about it. Think about uh, it. He starts hulking out and he can't control it. I like it. He starts changing a little bit red, like like uh, uh, like little glows, like little patches maybe of gray stuff. Hulk. A little bit of grayness. Like Sokovia. Like, exactly. Or not Sokovia. When he had the red, the red eyes, like Scarlet he was Witch. losing it, you know? Like, so what so I'm we hoping gotta bring is that. In, phew, Betty. I'm, I'm we got to bring in. Phew, Ross. That the threat comes from yeah. within, yeah. and there's a, a a three movie arc in which they can't stop Hulk. Oh, Hulk fuck. becomes a world breaker level powerful Hulk. And then you know what you do? That's how you introduce a new Wolverine. Yep, and that's how you introduce he's, new Wolverine. He's rampaging in the Canadian wilderness, exactly. and Fury's like, because we need to send this little motherfucker out there to take him out. <laughs> and it's a dude who's five foot three. He's like, exactly. I got this. So that it. will build up. Like if if we start because we all know that Hulk isn't always a team player. Like Hulk is always on the outskirts for a reason because yeah. nobody can control him. Dude, they and there do a are movie moments. called World War Hulk. Egg, that's what that. I'm saying. Like they could bring up all of these guys where some <sighs> villains even get involved and they're like, Man. you know what? We need to take out Hulk because Man. there's a reason why they sent him to Sakar. Because he turned Las Vegas into yeah. rubble. He yeah. killed everybody in Las Vegas. Yeah. And so they we had haven't, We haven't had one of these in Vegas. Do that. Just right. have him, like, destroy Las Vegas. Just, oh, man. <laughs> just oh, have God. him destroy something. Ooh. That's my big theory. And and mainly because I was talking to, to Pooch about this. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? You could play Sentry one day. And so oh, imagine yeah. Alex being Sentry. Long if hair. you don't know about Sentry, Ooh. he's kind of Superman level strength, mm. but with mental illness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Ex con or like he's he's a felon or something and that like could, that. And that could, he could be introduced, and that could still factor into the Dark Avengers. I'm saying there's a lot. Of shield up turns a, into like, hammer. If you bring up the fact that yeah. these characters like. Tony and 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 Cap are mm-hmm. infallible. Like they, their spirits will never be broken. Yeah. But there's other people who Dude, might be no swayed, joke. who might be like, <sighs> who might have demons that they can't deal with, and they inadvertently turn against their team. Yeah. That would be so freaking good. Like yeah. these characters would God add like another another level to what they want or what they could be seen yeah. as. Yeah. That's my theory for the next. For the next phase, I love it. Uh, definitely, like a like you said, like a three movie. They're very personal yeah. stories. Exactly, which is, I think, yeah. the that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Very uh, personal the, stories. The only other dangling thread I'd like to see addressed, but again, ties into if this dude doesn't get a movie, maybe Chris Evans shows up in the Falcon Winter Soldier show mm. to give these two guys a, the shield. Yeah. Right. If Iron Man doesn't get a movie, I still would like to see this universe address the real Mandarin, mm-hmm. and either he passes it off to Rhodey. Or they pass it off to Riri Williams, or they, you know, like they just make sure that there's an Iron Man mm-hmm. while they're still mm-hmm. a war machine, while yeah, whatever, right, right, whatever. Right. Like the icons and the, yes. the characters like, of those. There can be other characters, and I want it to be Riri that takes over for mm-hmm. Iron Man. Maybe Black Widow retires, but I would like for there to be other Thors, whether it's right, right, right. Better A Bill, uh-huh. whether it's Valkyrie, right, whether right. it's Jane F- Foster. Frog Thor. Right? We're yeah. going to get more caps. <laughs> I want to see Falcon be Captain America. Maybe yeah. even Winter Soldier for a little bit, but I want it to be Falcon, and I want Amadeus Cho to be Hulk mm-hmm. or She-Hulk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And She-Hulk all, those, all that in. can happen with Mark Ruffalo sort of passing it on while still, you know, maybe, like you're saying, getting able to do that would be super, super right. dope. Right, yeah, so, it would be really freaking cool. And if these six are sort of, not around, mm-hmm. but other characters are picking up their mantle. We still have all of these characters, not to mention X Men, Fantastic yeah. Four. We're set. Like it's, it's a you know, uh, it's a amazingly yeah. huge 
canvas to paint. I, like I don't, I don't ever want to see big. Iron Man four, but I think I do want to see someday a Riri Williams. Oh, uh, for sure, Iron, absolutely. Iron, yeah. Iron, you see Iron the, Heart. Yeah, you want to see the like next Miles. evolution of what these characters yep. are going to be. Agreed, agreed. Mm-hmm. And the legacy, exactly. And, and Captain Marvel again. I want to see Monica Rambeau mm-hmm. be Photon or be yeah. like. Mm-hmm. And when she shows up and Sonequa Martin Green's our age, she's gonna be like, oh my god, Auntie Carol. Like yeah. that whole like right, I want right, that to right. happen and. We talk, got to talk about Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. Miss yeah. Marvel. Yeah. She needs yeah. to. So Carol needs to sort of come back and be on Earth, so that Miss Marvel can like grow up, look up to her, her, and her. join this group of kids that right, are like, right, right. I'm gonna be stature, I'm yep. gonna be Iron Lad, yep. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, and then for Doctor Strange, I want to see Clea come up. Uh, mm-hmm. She's just like a female sorceress character from right, the Dark Dimension. Right. Maybe, was she like the daughter of Dormammu? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I don't know, dude. I'm 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 happy. Yeah, I think for me, I think for me especially like. I would love to, and I, I, we're yeah. so early on in the process. I want to see a lot more Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther. Yes, I think there's plenty of more story to tell, but I would like to see Shuri, Shuri, yeah, side by side It'll with happen. him, brother sister, amazing dynamic duo. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. fighting the good fight, both having their own p- Panther uniforms. Well, you know what happens when Shuri becomes the Black Panther? What happens? Doom invades. Wakanda and takes over Wakanda. Mm. <gasps> Sprinkle that yeah. in there. Hey, yeah. I want that. Yeah, I want to see that. Oh yeah, I want that uh, over my body, guys. I want it. <laughs> like in, like in Napoleon Dynamite. I want that. I want it. I want <laughs> and I that. think obviously <laughs> with Spider Man to the Spider Verse, like like we're all saying, yeah, yeah. Miles eventually getting yeah. to Miles yeah. Morales and bringing. Aaron Davis, a.k.a. Yes. Charles Gambino, yep. a.k.a. Donald Glover, back. <laughs> some prowler. prowler. Some Come prowler. on. Agree. Come Agreed. on. Well, again, talking about vil- building up the villains, yeah. go to the Spidey villains and start building up the Sinister yeah, Six. Man. We've got Vulture. Mm-hmm. We're going to get Mysterio this year. Look, I'll say Dude. it. I'd be cool if they brought back Vincent D'Onofrio as the kingpin. Oh, oh shit, shit, man. Oh, All right, God. that's a whole other thing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> of course. Of we, course. We said we weren't going to get into the Netflix <laughs> stuff. Damn All it, right? Adam. <laughs> Now I'm thinking, Char- no, not even. No. Just we'll, we'll we'll worry about that whenever <laughs> Disney Plus uh, decides. Yeah, to I want the new Avengers actually. to be Luke Cage, yeah. Daredevil, yeah. Jessica uh, Jones. Yeah. yeah. All right, I think we're done, guys. Yeah, I we did it. I think that's it. We did I, a lot of good speculation. Yeah. Any any final thoughts? Uh, from, I from, mean, final thoughts for me. World War Hulk baby. No, I'm just kidding. No, I think <laughs> for, <laughs> final thoughts for me. I, I'm just game. really excited. Like you, like you guys were saying earlier, I'm excited that we're going into the 22nd film and not really knowing what's going to happen. Yeah. We yeah. have little bits and pieces from the marketing. Any one of these characters could die or live. Mm-hmm. That's super exciting. Mm-hmm. Even though there are threads that we hope are sort of tied up in three hours and two minutes, there's a lot that can be tied yeah. up. So yeah. I'm I'm just really looking forward to seeing how this all plays out. What characters return? What characters don't return? Mm-hmm. How they evolve? Uh, Guys, remember so when much. we got this in Infinity War and Bro, nobody saw it coming? I shat yep. myself. Yeah. What like yeah. something like that is probably going to happen again in yeah. Absolutely, yeah. that's yeah. all I'm saying. Absolutely, that's yes. all I'm yeah, saying. And it might good. be something that we've discussed here. Yeah, yeah. Been, or something totally even new. being like, nah, 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 nah that'll never happen. <laughs> like, oh shit, they did it! They did it! Yeah, my final thoughts are: I am unbelievably excited for this movie, and just same as you. Like, I really don't know what's going to happen, and it's fun. And it's fun, and I am going to enjoy every second of it <laughs> mm-hmm. when we see it for the first time. We're just going to hold hands. And it's <laughs> it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Feeding each other just popcorn. a human chain. Augustine, final thoughts. Years. Final thoughts. Uh, I, I just can't, I can't wait to watch this. Uh, it's my childhood dreams come true. Um, I, I jumped into my uh, – I used to collect Marvel cards back in yeah. the day. So I went home, and I, col- I started looking at them, and I was like, oh, my God, like – Back in the day, I used to spend hours looking at these cards and reading the back and yeah. trying to get as much information from this <laughs> as I could. Mm-hmm. They had these cool little diagrams of like their power level versus their speed versus Bro. their agility. So versus I didn't even show you <laughs> the backs. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> it was so funny. Actually, yesterday I was walking downstairs, <laughs> and on the way down, I was mentioning to Emily, I was like, oh, man, on the back, we could probably could have added so- – Oh yeah, I don't want to tell yeah, Hector don't that. Even, don't even. Don't even. Let us reprint all but, of good. them. But that's the thing. Like the little kid inside of me, like looking at this is overwhelming yeah. as an adult. I'm just yeah. like, this is stressful at this point. Yeah, this sure. movie is going to be <laughs> stressful. <laughs> but the little kid inside me is like, this is everything you've wanted, mm-hmm. and it's going to mm-hmm. be amazing. So mm-hmm. I'm, so I'm just really looking forward to, <laughs> to all of this. Uh, yeah. That's Let's that, baby. Wrap we did that it, shit gentlemen. up. Uh, we did it, gentlemen. Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Avengers Endgame comes out this week. We can't wait to hear all your guys' all your guys' oh, reactions man. to the movie. Mm-hmm. We want to know your theories. What characters do you think are going to make it out? What characters won't? How are we going to transition some of these characters into new roles in the MCU? Let us know in the comments. If you're watching on Patreon, comment down below under the post. If you're on YouTube, go into the comments section. There, I'm sure everyone's going to have theories. I want to hear oh, all yeah. of them. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. If you like this 
if you enjoyed this video mm -hmm. hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this support us on patreon let us know that you like seeing stuff like this so we can then go out and create more stuff like this because we did this last year it was crazy <laughs> we did it this year again it was, it was crazy it's yeah. super fun we love diving into this sort of stuff and we We're, hope you guys enjoy we'll this never lot. do this again <laughs> that's what we until said last time too. <laughs> until, until the next avengers that's right. that's movie. until the that's new true. avengers yeah. shows but, up uh, but for spider-man and then what's next year like they haven't announced it yet right maybe yeah unofficially maybe doctor things. strange yeah the whatever Eternals, yeah no we're things. just we're just coming we'll in just we'll we're just coming into we're sliding into those just those franchises not the whole kitten no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good yeah, time but yeah. guys make sure you guys subscribe youtube.com slash hyper rpg check out the podcast uh apple podcast spotify google play soundcloud wherever podcasts are sold just search hyper heroes and of course uh and check out the patreon check the out brand new the, patreon. the brand patreon. new patreon. relaunch patreon That's right baby patreon.com slash hyper rpg so yep. many slide good it, things slide it in them so cheeks. many things offering slide it in the cheeks Ant man going Ooh. in those cheeks <sighs> thank you so much for watching end hope game. you enjoyed <laughs> we're in the end game baby right we'll catch you guys in the next one right in the butthole that's right Bye.